You're watching MC22. Ain't got no choice but to lace up. Every day is game day. Off my third pawn track. You still on that same play. Lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back. Look, I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage, I'm gonna start like evil can I built the conquer heights. My mind's a Danny DeVito. And once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel. Yo, this the IFL. Swear to man, become heroes of in the Iowa is looking for an antidote to losing and will turn to a new face to guide the offense. Tonight, the Barnstormers host the Rattlers, who put up big numbers offensively, but have only struck the win column once in four tries. Arizona and Iowa take the field at Wells Fargo Arena next on MC22. It's the home opener for the Iowa Barnstormers as they take on the Arizona Rattlers. Iowa really glad to be home after opening on the road and dropping all three. And Arizona struggled off to their worst start since 2017. They come in with a one and three record. Larry Morgan here along with one of the all time great receivers in Barnstormer history, Brady Rowland. And Brady, a lot of these players are brand new to the Barnstormers. They probably are about to experience something great. That's playing at Wells Fargo Arena. How much of a home field advantage is this? Yeah, oh, big home field advantage, especially here at Wells Fargo. Uh, Barnstormers have the greatest fans in the indoor game, definitely. And I mentioned you're one of the all-time, if not the greatest receiver, Barnstormer history. Remind us what years you played here. So I played 15, 16, 17, and we won it uh, in 18. And 18, that was just a year I'm sure you'll never forget. Yeah, definitely not. Well, let's talk about the people that'll be throwing to people like you tonight. Let's take a look at our spotlight players. Dalton Sneed is the starting quarterback, we believe. Did play last week yep. for Arizona. Let's tell us talk a little bit about him. Yeah, Dalton uh, played with Bay Area last year. Uh, they actually ended up winning uh, the IFL championship. So he's got some uh, experience behind him. He's coming back off of an injury the last couple games. So he's looking to get back on, uh, out and going. And then Kyle King. Um, for the Barnstormers getting his first start. That's right, and of course the Barnstormers have had a little issue at quarterback. Darius Peterson coming off a significant knee injury, started the first couple of ball games, so Kyle King gets his first starting call tonight. So, um, he's pretty poised on the road playing the second half at Massachusetts. What's going to be like for him tonight? Yeah, it'll be nice uh, for him to get his first start here at home, uh, have the fans with you to start the game, but I think one of the big things for him is to uh, come, out, come out, get some um, passes completed, get down the field and get some points on the board. As you look at him there, he brings good size to the position at 6'3", two and a quarter. Yes, big big kid. So might be able to do some running as well. Yep, definitely. He'll have to use his legs as well as his arm. And speaking of using legs, the Rattlers have the worst, or one of the worst defenses against the rush in the IFL. So how important is the running game tonight for Iowa? Uh, it's very important. They definitely need to be very balanced um, on the offensive side of the ball, get the run game going, but also um, taking some shots downfield as well. They have a good running back in Robert Washington. Washington. Very excited to see him tonight because he's been very good so far. Yes, uh, he'll he'll want to get out started strong and uh, get some get some yards on the ground. Should be fun tonight. The Definitely. home opener for the Barnstormers. Glad to have Brady Rowland with us. Iowa and Arizona tee up next on MC22.
Welcome back to the price match game. Today, we're playing for a new range from GE. Let's price match. Jack from House Station, what have you got? Well, I can do $9.99. What about you, Skippy from Bottoms? I can beat the House Station with $900. Kurt from Archer Home Center, can you price match $900? I can price match that, and we'll install it and service it as long as you own it. It looks like you win, and our audience at home wins too by Archer taking advantage of Archer Home Center's Center. price match guarantee. Welcome back to Wells Fargo Arena, where after three weeks on the road, the Barnstormers home opener comes against one of the all-time outstanding franchises in IFL and indoor football history, the Arizona Rattlers. They are coached by a man who's had a lot of success. Kevin Guy in his 15th year, his overall record including playoffs, 251 wins, 85 losses. In other words, he's won 75% of the games that he has coached. He's led the franchise to three IFL championships. And for the Barnstormers back for his third season, Dave Mogensen, and he is very excited about the roster he's put together. Some difficult season early for the Barnstormers, and again, Darius Peterson having trouble regaining the form that he had two years ago. So that's why he's going with a new quarterback in number 17, Kyle King. The Barnstormers won the toss. They deferred to the second half. So we are set for action. Gabe Rui, who does an outstanding job, will be the kicker for the Barnstormers. Iowa looking to get on the win column for the first time this season. There's the kickoff, and it's a short one. And it is recovered and returned up to the 22-yard line by Jamal Miles. The Barnstormers choosing to kick it away from an outstanding returner in Glenn Gibbons, who has already returned a touchdown for uh, our kickoff for a touchdown this season. So we are set to go, and it will be Arizona on offense for the first time under Great the return. direction of Dalton Sneed. We mentioned did not play last week, and there was a penalty down. marker thrown on the opening play, and it'll go against Arizona. Brad Bunting is our referee tonight, a veteran of 30 years of football officiating. So now Arizona starts back at the six-yard line, Brady. They start in a little bit of a hole. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good starting position here for our defense, but um, Arizona looking to move the ball and get, uh, get out of the back of the end zone. And again, where they have struggled is really on offense. And their starting quarterback will be Garrett Kettle. So we expected Sneed to get the starting call. Instead, it's Kettle. The handoff and going with the football is Jamal Miles across the 10 yard line and back up to the 11. Let's take a look at the Barnstormer starters. You're not going to see a lot of familiar names from last season, but one you will see is number seven, Tyrell Pearson. He's in his seventh year as a Barnstormer. Ian McBurrow scheduled to start tonight, but due to an injury, he will not be starting tonight. And that's going to be a big loss for the Barnstormers. It's a gain up to the 12 yard line on the first play from scrimmage, setting up a Second down and four call for the quarterback, Garrett Kettle. Running play once again and breaking open is Jamal Miles. Miles to the five, miles to the end zone. On the second play from scrimmage, the Barnstormer defense nicked by a long run from Jamal Miles. And that was a 38-yard gallop. What did you see broke down there, Brady? A uh, good screen pass there. Um, great blocking down the field by the receivers for the Rattlers. Uh, made one move, made a guy miss, and took it the rest of the way. A 38-yard pass from Garrett Kettle, and that is his third touchdown pass this season. And for Jamal Miles, that is his third touchdown reception this season. An excellent kicker for the Arizona Rattlers is Dawson Evitz. His point after is up and good. He is perfect this year in 19 tries. He is now 20 for 20. And before the Barnstormers can catch a breath, they fall behind seven to nothing. Take another look at the touchdown, Brady. Yeah, so quarterback gets out to the receiver quick. Um, really, this plays on the, the blockers out in front to make a, make a couple blocks, and he's got to make a couple guys miss, and he did his job and got in the end zone. So a 38-yard punch in the opening series, second play of the ball game for the Rattlers. And it covered 44 yards in just those two plays and it only took a minute and 47. So the Barnstormers who really need to get off to a good start and they've struggled starting the last two ball games. 
will now once again play from behind. Last week at Massachusetts, they fell behind 24 to seven by half, lost 54-29. The week before at Tulsa fell behind 22 to three at the half. So they've had some good second halves, but they've got to get something going early in this one. Yep, it'll be big for Kyle to come out and get some passes completed and uh, move down the field. Keon Williams set to return for the Barnstormers. He's been good thus far. Had a 52-yard kickoff return against Massachusetts last week. Brings it up to the 10, sidesteps the tackler, gets up to about the 13-yard line where he runs into a host of Rattlers. They finally field him at the 15-yard line. Leading the way for Arizona on the tackle was Jalen Perkins, a second-year pro who, by the way, went to Grandview University. Rare that you see a Grandview yeah. player on an opponent, but the, he has just been signed this week. Okay. After starting his career at Nebraska Kearney. So it'll be first down for the Barnstormers at the 15 yard line under the direction of Kyle King, 6'3, two and a quarter, a rookie from Mary Harden Baylor, where he led them to two national championship games, won the national championship in 2021. His running back is Robert Washington, a 5'11, 220 pound powerhouse who played at Valpo in his last season. And on first down, it's a fake, and running the football is King across the 25, into Rattler territory, and down at the 21-yard line for a first down on his first play as a starter for the Barnstormers. Yeah, that's huge for him to get out this first play, get some yards, get some confidence in him, and, and get a first down. Barnstormers with a veteran at center as we take another look at it. Yep, he looks like he had a read there, uh, decided to keep it, and got his yards and got down. And so from the 24-yard line in Arizona territory, the Barnstormers with their second snap of the ball game. Joe Basante, who last year played center for the Barnstormers, is back in that position, and he's a good one. It's a running play to Washington, and Washington gets a yard on the play. Let's take a look at the starters for the Barnstormers. We've talked about the quarterback and about the running back, Washington. Who are the top receivers? They are Trey Long. Keon Williams, who returned that kickoff, and Darren Wilson, who played at Iowa State. Bastante, Gaskins, and Strother are up front for the Barnstormers. And actually, Strother, a rookie from Fort Hayes State with great promise, according to the coaching staff for the Barnstormers. So here comes the second and nine call for Kyle King. Grew up in a town of less than 500 people in East Central Texas. Fires has a wide open receiver for a touchdown scored by Keon Williams. You don't get him much more open than that, do you, Brady? That was an awesome play by coach and quarterback found the open man. And so just that quickly, the Barnstormers strike, and we've already had our second score with the ball game less than four minutes old. And for King, his second touchdown throw of the season. Yep, it doesn't get any better than that as a quarterback. Your receivers did their job. Maybe a, a miscommunication on the Rattlers' part, but uh, he found his open guy and got in the end zone. So King to Williams for a 23-yard strike. Gabe Rui, familiar name, on to attempt the point after. He kicks that one through the uprights, and he has been perfect thus far as well. So the Barnstormers quickly come back to tie the Rattlers at seven. And you won't find a receiver any more open than Kyle King did right there. You see nobody else in the picture until it's way too late. 7-7 seven, seven, early in the first quarter. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Hello, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. For over 30 years, we've helped thousands of people solve their financial problems. So we got a little carried away. $44,000 in debt with a 25% annual interest rate. We could never pay that down. Consumer Credit of Des Moines lowered our monthly payment and lowered the interest rate to under 5%. And we improved our credit score. If they can help us, they can help you. Yes, we can. Call Consumer Credit of Des Moines.
Barnstormers score on a 23-yard King to Williams touchdown pass right after the Rattlers had scored early on a 38-yard kettle to Miles strike, and so we're tied at seven. Glenn Gibbons Jr. is deep, looking for the deuce that time, and remember, if you kick it through the uprights on the kickoff, is a deuce. Rui didn't get close to that one, and it's a good return, and Gibbons brings it up to the 21-yard line, and that is where the Rattlers will start. Gibbons really an outstanding kickoff return player. He has averaged more than 20 yards per kickoff returns. Let's get another look at the kickoff ready and how close this was to two points. Yeah, it looks like it just, oh, bottom up right. Just, just a few inches, and that's two for us. I talked to Gabe before the ball game tonight, and they said, Remind me how many deuces did you have last year? And he led the league with 12. Okay. And that's a new uh, rule from when I played that right, they had added. Right, right. Used to be just the last minute of the half and the last minute of the game where that was two. And then last year, they changed the rule. Once again, the quarterback keeps, and this time he's going to gain to the 20-yard line. A pair of yards on the play, bringing up a second down and eight call. So, again, we expected... Dalton's need to start a quarterback, and the Barnstormers were kind of preparing for that, but instead they are starting Garrett Kettle. He's in his second year from Benedictine College with an NAIA All-American at that school in Kansas. This year, so far, 9 of 15 passing, 99 yards, two touchdowns, fired that one tonight. He looks to throw. Once again, has a receiver deep. Trying to make a great catch in the end zone for Arizona is Corey Reed. And the pass is incomplete. Almost a catch by Reed, and that, Brady, kind of reminded me of the catches you would make in the end zone. <laughs> yep, uh, he kind of had his man beat here, but um, it was good by uh, Gatling to turn around, find the ball, and, and make a play on it. Samir Gatling, a second-year pro from Morgan State and Boise State back there defending for the Barnstormers. Again, mostly new names for the Barnstormers. If you're a longtime fan, you're going to hear a lot of new names tonight. So Kettle has already indicated he has an outstanding arm. As he takes his third down and eighth snap, has time, delivers up the middle, and doing a terrific job holding on, if he, in fact, did hold on, and they're going to rule it. A complete pass, or an incomplete pass. No, they're going to call it an incomplete pass. Great hit that time by Jefferson Fritz. Fritz, who leads the IFL in tackles. How about this defensive effort? That was great defense by us. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, I think they got it right. That would have been a heck of a catch by six for the Rattlers. A good effort that time by Corey Reed, but did he ever get company? So now it's a fourth down call for the Arizona Rattlers. Fourth down, eight yards to go at their own 20-yard line. And they will go for it rather than send their field goal kicker in, who has good range, but probably not that good a range. So the Barnstormers defense trying to hold on fourth down as Kettle runs it up the middle to midfield, and he has tackled at a nice one-on-one -on -one stop, and it's going to be short of a first down. He had to make the tackle that time for the Barnstormers is Desmond Reed, who just joined the team this week. Reed, a veteran from Appalachian State, he's played in this part of the country for the Omaha Beef back in that league a couple of years ago, and he made a first down saving tackle there. Definitely big, big tackle there for the defense. Uh, now it's time to offense, get back on the field and, and find the end zone again. So the Barnstormers, who have not had a lead in a ball game since they scored the first field goal at Mass, or I should say a couple of weeks before that at Tulsa, now looking to take their first lead since that stretch. And again, they've got a brand new quarterback in Kyle King. He started his college career at Mary Harden Baylor, seventh on the depth chart, was recruited as a punter, but what a story he is. He's back, he delivers long, and it's a leaping effort, and the pass is incomplete. Pass just a little bit long. The intended receiver that time was Jefferson Fritz. So we talked about the ability for Fritz on defense, and that time he was the intended receiver on offense. Yeah, it looked like Iowa had two guys in the same area there, um, which usually isn't intended for the offense. But And so now it'll be a second down call for the Barnstormers. 
Wide to the near side, Keon Williams. He's caught 10 passes this year and just caught his fourth touchdown pass tonight to open the ball game. Robert Washington on the call. Washington bearing for that first down and he will be very close to that first down. A little bit of extra pushing after the play. The officials step in between them. And they're going to spot it a yard short. That was a good hard run by 11. Uh, Washington got upfield and, and got his yards. Washington played in the Pioneer League his last season for Valpo University and was the Offensive Player of the Year in the Pioneer Football League. The ball to 17, a yard short. Or actually, now they have ruled it a first down. Originally, they said not a first down. Now it is first down at the 17-yard line. So the Barnstormers with a new series. The fake comes to Washington. It does not fool Arizona as the quarterback King keeps and gets some positive yardage at it down to the 14-yard line. And we talked about it earlier. Arizona allowing 111 yards on the ground per game, worst in the IFL. So the Barnstormers think they can capitalize on that with some good ground play. Yeah, it looks like they tried to run the same play they started the game off there, and Arizona was ready for it that time. Second down and eight coming up for the Barnstormers as the clock continues to run. When this play is run, less than five minutes will be left in a rapidly played first quarter. So far, just one penalty called in the ball game. Back to throw is King, gets pressured, delivers to the right side, and the pass is incomplete. The intended receiver was Darren Wilson, and he was covered by Jermaine Dowds. And Dowds, really a good defender, leads the Arizona Rattlers in tackles. Comes in with 19 and a half per ball game. So it becomes a third and long for Iowa. Thus far, the Barnstormers converting on 43% of the third down efforts this season. And I was going to challenge the pass play on an illegal twist. So Dave Wilkinson throws the challenge flag, and we'll see what the officials see. And we'll find out what maybe Brady sees when we get the replay. Brad Bunting is the referee, and he's going to take the headset. And alongside him is John Cameron, the headlinesman. Again, we don't have the official replay, but Brady, this is what it looks like from our camera point yeah. of view. Looking for an illegal twist. Mm. I don't know if I'm seeing it. Maybe if they're thinking the, the linebacker coming in. We're about to find out. They've shortened the rules a little bit this year and tried to make the game flow more. When a play ends, 40 seconds to get everybody gathered, and then 25 on the play clock. So just the same timing as in college football. And Brad Bunding says it's always his desire to keep these replay reviews as short as possible. Yeah. But you got to make sure that you got the call right. Definitely. And he apparently has decided, and we're about to find out what his decision is. After review, there is no twist on the play. The down counts, third down. I will be charged a timeout and loses a challenge. Okay, so Iowa and Dave Wilkinson just one challenge remaining. You get two. There is the third year head mentor for the Barnstormers. Despite an 0 3 start, thinks this team has done a lot of things well, is very pleased that the league in the middle is really jumbled as far as wins and losses, and thinks the Barnstormers can quickly move up the standings. But tonight's game pretty important, Brady. Yeah, definitely. Want to get that first win on the board, um, get some confidence in your guys, and, and go. You know, it's a long season, so getting that first one's the hardest. Washington is the running back, King the quarterback. Fired to the right side. It's a nice catch near the first down marker by Keon Williams, his second grab of the night. And we will check the spot of the football. They spot it down at the eight-yard line. That yeah, is a great route by three. Um, that's a timing route. That's on the quarterback. He's got to get that out right away, and he does, and, and they complete the pass. It's a quick decision there. It'll be a yard short of a first down. Fourth and one at the seven. Running play. Washington stopped near the line of scrimmage. Plows forward. And let's see if his forward progress gives him the first down. The officials want to unstack them first. 
as Robert Washington was on the carry looking for a yard to give the Barnstormers a first down and goal. And the officials have indicated that it is going to be short and it'll be fourth down. So anyway, now they're about to move the sticks again. And with that, that we have a timeout on the field as the Barnstormers now will look for a field goal. We'll be back with that in a moment. Game tied at seven with 3.54 left to play in the first quarter. Big rewards with every tap with FSV Rewards Checking. So the Barnstormers denied a first down on that last play and looking for the lead, they're going to ask Gabe Rui to come in and kick it through the uprights. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Got to get some points. Oh, we're that was fourth down. Oh, that was fourth we're, down. We're on the same page now. I uh, guess, yeah, change of possession. So somehow I thought they had another one. They do not. So it will be instead the Barnstormers on defense. And the officials are asking the music to stop so play can resume. Garrett Kettle, the second year quarterback at a Benedictine who played at Northern Arizona last year and had a really good season, threw for more than 1,800 yards, is the quarterback. He pitches, and it's an excellent open field tackle for the Barnstormers, as it's Simeon Gatling who comes in and makes the stop. That's a great play defensively. A heck of a read by Gatling, came up quick, saw that there was a run, and, and got up there in a great tackle. Loss of a yard, second down and 11. As that time the carry by Shannon Brooks, who also did not play last year, played, has been in this league for a number of years, his third year in the league, and he got stopped for a loss of a yard. This time an empty backfield as Kettle is back. Delivers up the middle, and the pass is caught by Jamal Miles. Stopped at the 17-yard line, very close to a first down. And they will rule it. Third down and a yard. Barnstormers defense, come on boys. Barnstormers need to stop here on third and one with the game tied at seven, less than three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Kobe Smith wide to the near side of the field as is Gibbons. They hand off instead on a running play and it's a first down run for Shannon Brooks. Brooks, who was an outstanding player at the University of Minnesota a number of years ago, rushed for more than 2,200 yards and is number 12 all time in Golden Gopher history in rushing. But has had an interesting career, did not play last year after playing at Massachusetts in 21, in Arizona in 22, and in 23, he was in the CFL in Edmonton. So back in his second time as a stint for the Rattlers, and he picks them up a first down which moves the ball to the 22-yard line. Again, an empty backfield. Kettle this time works the right side. It's complete for a big game. And tackled inside the 13-yard line for the Arizona Rattlers is Kobe Smith, a second-year pro from San Diego State. Good read there by the quarterback, getting out to his guy and let him make a play, uh, getting some yards. 14-yard gain on the play. The tackle by Javon France, a rookie from Wayne State in Nebraska. 7-all with a minute and a quarter left to play in quarter number one.
Fake running play. Quarterback Kettle keeps, gets down to the 11-yard line. He gets about three on first down. It'll bring up a second down and about seven as the first down stick is at the three-yard line. Make it second and eight in his final minute of the first quarter. The game tied at seven. Kettle good size, 6'4", 210 pounds at quarterback. This time he will line up a running back behind him. The pitch instead comes to Miles. Miles tries to turn the corner and almost gets there. Gets up to about the six-yard line before he is wrestled down by Simeon Gatling. That's a great tackle by Gatling there. That's a hard tackle to make on your own. You're kind of out, out on your own there, breaks down, makes a good tackle, wraps up, and, and takes the guy down. Miles, a veteran running back, played at Arizona State, was with Edmonton and the CFL for a while in his seventh year of indoor football. Final play, first quarter. Third and short. Running play comes to Shannon Brooks, and Brooks is going to be hauled down, but should have enough for a first down, and that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. So when we return to Wells Fargo Arena, it'll be a first and goal for the Arizona Rattlers, tied with the Barnstormers at seven. This is how the Barnstormers got on the board. King to a wide open, Keon Williams. Are you looking for metal panel options and don't know what type fits your needs? Killian's Custom Metal and Panel offers custom panel solutions at competitive prices for your home, barn, or commercial project. Our metal panels come in a variety of colors and gauges. They're environmentally safe, energy efficient, and last forever. We have 40 years of experience in the metal construction industry, and we get the job done in a one to two day turnaround. Go to our website to see examples of our work. Trust the metal and panel experts at Killian's Custom Metal Roofing. Call today for a free quote. Watching MC22 is now easier than ever before. All Mediacom customers can watch local programming online anytime. Go to mc22.net, click Watch MC22, and log in with your Mediacom account. Not a Mediacom cable subscriber? Mediacom internet or phone subscribers can watch too. Your local programming leader, MC22, online at mc22.net slash watch. Start of the second quarter at Wells Fargo Arena. The Rattlers and the Barnstormers tied at seven. Arizona with a first and goal at the three-yard line as the second quarter begins. Larry Morgan and Brady Rowland with you, and we talked about what a great career Brady had. All league, first team all league three times. Your rookie year, just second team all conference, so <laughs> yeah. all league. So four IFLs and all-stars in four years. That was quite a career, Brady. Thank you. Starting quarterback, Garrett Kettle, takes the snap on first and goal. He hands it off, and it is Shannon Brooks stopped shy of the end zone. Barnstormers react well on the play, and leading the charge was Christopher Oakley. Great defense here by Pearson. He comes up and sets the edge, makes the guy cut back in, back to his players, and, and they do their job and make the tackle. Oakley, who played collegiately at Marion, played for the Quad Cities last year, number 32 for the Barnstormers, and to quote, Dave Bokuson gave us hits, and so that's why he is on the Barnstormer squad this year. Second and goal for Arizona as they tried to take the lead. Again, a running play, and this time a wide open lane for Shannon Brooks to get to the end zone, and the Rattlers take a 13 7 lead. And that time they opened up a nice alley for him. Yeah, the O line got the job done there, opened a big hole, and let him walk in untouched pretty much. Arizona up front goes with the center of William Lay, and the guards are Cole Carter and Lamar Mady. And Mady has been in his eighth year playing for Arizona. 
Dawson Evitz has been perfect thus far in point afters, and that kick is up, and that kick is good as well. So with 13.45 left to play in the first half, Arizona takes the lead at Iowa by a score of 14 to seven. And as you think back on that play, the Barnstormers strung it out a little bit, but Arizona just has had some good success. Let's uh, take a look at the drive. Nine plays, 42 yards, and again, Shannon Brooks on the two yard run. Shannon Brooks, uh, as we mentioned, played at the University of Minnesota, but a veteran of the IFL, Dave Mogison. Talking it over with his new quarterback, Kyle King. Let's take another look at the Rattler touchdown, Brady. Yeah, the offensive line does their job here. Um, this is a hard play to stop. Looks like the quarterback had a read, made the right read, and, and the running back walked in. And again, they are very good up front, and especially number 94, Lamar Mady. 6'3", kind of light for an offensive lineman, 205 pounds, but he has been all IFL on the first team three times, on the second team the last three years, so he is one of the better blockers in the IFL. The returnee for the Barnstormers, number three, Keon Williams. Started his career at Eastern Michigan, the last couple of years at Buffalo, earned all MAC honors, his final year there. Has played a little bit for the Toronto Argonauts. In fact, was one of the final cuts in their preseason. The Barnstormers thrilled to have him, and he's about to return the kickoff. And again, he went all the way against Massachusetts last week, and this time squirms out to the 15, maybe the 16-yard line. And that's where the Barnstormers will take over under the direction of Kyle King, who's completed two of his first four passes for 31 yards and a touchdown. Barnstormers thus far on the ground, five carries for 23 yards and 31 efforts on the air through in force. So they've really had a nice balance of run to pass. Yes, they have. This is going to be a big drive for the offense here. Um, definitely want to get points on the board here. Um, three, or, three or six, doesn't matter, but you definitely want to put up some points on this drive. Barnstormers sending Robert Washington out as a receiver. It'll be an empty backfield. Three receivers to the right of Kyle King. He looks left, he looks right, is flushed out of the pocket and has to throw it into the stands. Nice pursuit that time by number 96, Dawson Evitz. I should correct me, number 93, Jamius Pittman on the pressure that time. Now this was good coverage by the defense here. Um, quarterback didn't have a lot of time, held on to it as long as he could and got rid of it when he needed, when he needed it to. That's a decision that quarterbacks don't always find easy, especially <laughs> when they're new in this league, right? Exactly, yep, yep. The more you hit the wall and hit the ground, uh, the, you, get it, you get rid of it quicker the next time, definitely. <laughs> I'm sure that's very true. Running play to Washington, and Washington is stopped immediately. Terrific open field tackle that time by number 10, Connor Taylor, second year out of Louisiana Tech. And we're going to get another look at this outstanding stop. Yeah, that was a good open field tackle there by 10. But a penalty marker also thrown on the field. And we're going to get a look at that for Brad Bunting. First of all, he talks it over with his crew, and now he's going to let us know. Dead ball, personal foul, offense, number 78. Personal foul, defense, number 90. Those penalties offset, down counts, third down. So Sivan Lowry for Arizona and Christopher Strother for Iowa mixing it up. But again, no harm, no foul because just offsetting penalties. And so here comes a third and 11 call for the Barnstormers after that outstanding defensive play by Savon Lowry. Joe Bastanti up over the ball at center, and he has just done an outstanding job in that position for the Barnstormers, now in his second year. King throws deep, and the receiver can't get there. The intended receiver was Keon Williams. He turns around, looks for a pass interference call, and is not going to get it. There definitely was some contact there. That'd be close. Slowed the receiver down, so definitely affected the play. 
And uh, I'm sure receivers always think there's a little interference. Oh, there's Brady. always hey, every hey, play. You? Every play there's pass interference. <laughs> I'm sure you claimed that a time or two, but it was always, in your case, always accurate, right? <laughs> right. So one of the things that had plagued the Barnstormers is opponents getting stops. And in the IFL, stops are very significant. Yeah, that was that was a big stop for the Rattlers, uh, hoping we can put some points on the board here with a field goal. This will be a 51-yard effort by Gabe Rui. He's got the leg, but remember, the uprights are narrow. That kick is on the way, and it's going to be wide left. And so Arizona does come up with the defensive hold, and with a 14-7 lead, they'll get the ball here early in the second quarter. Rui, who is an outstanding kicker for the Barnstormers. Fourth year with the Barnstormers. Hard to believe he's had some tryouts with NFL teams and XFL teams over the years, and it's come close, but continues to play for the Barnstormers. And from the five-yard line, it will be Arizona Rattler football. They won their opener over Northern Arizona 51-40, to but have now lost three in a row, bowing by just two against Vegas then losing by just six at Bay Area, and then against San Diego last week, bowing by 10. So their last three losses by a grand total of 18 points. So they've been close. They've just not been able to get the job done. Garrett Ketling hands it off, and it's a running play, and up to the 11-yard line for the Arizona Rattlers on the play comes Jamal Miles. And it's a nice tackle turned in for the Barnstormers by Chuck Manning, a rookie from Austin P. At the 10-yard line, second and five, quick hitter to Shannon Brooks. Shannon Brooks to the 15, scrums away from a tackler and is able to get the first down and plenty more as he brings it up to midfield. Brooks, a very talented receiver, 14-yard gain on that play. Similar play that they ran on their first touchdown. You gotta get the ball out quick, let your playmakers make a play and hope the rest of the team's blocking for him down there. Shannon Brooks, the most interesting story. We mentioned he's been around a long time, but Shannon Brooks had a number of injuries in Minnesota and actually survived getting hit by a train, not directly, but some metal from a train came up. The story was he was quite despondent over the death of his mother, went to a speeding train he said he was not really thinking suicide, but he was close enough he got hit, had some severe facial injuries, but recovered and was able to continue his Minnesota career. So it's an amazing comeback by Shannon Brooks as that catch by Jamal Miles picks up a good six yards on the play, and it'll be second down. Looks like the O-line's doing a pretty good job of giving him time. He got that out quick and, and got his five, five to seven yards. Jefferson Fritz covering on the play. You'll get to know the Barnstormers Jefferson Fritz at halftime. One of so many new players on the roster this year at Iowa. Second down and four call coming up for Garrett Kettle. Out of an empty backfield. Slings it to the right side. It's caught by Jamal Miles, who's been very active thus far. And he races for a first down. So Garrett Kettle doing a good job moving the sticks. They've had a lot of success with these screens, getting it out quick and, and getting upfield. And that's the way they scored their initial touchdown. Kettle to Miles, a 38-yard play on a screen pass. Kobe Smith goes wide to the far side. He starts to go wide. Now he's going to come back in a slot. And it's Glenn Gibbons Jr. goes wide to the left side. Pass caught at the six-yard line. He just threw that ball on a line and a bullet pulled in by Kobe Smith, his first catch of the ball game in his fourth this season. Kettle's doing a great job of getting the ball out quick. Uh, you know, his first read seems to be open quite often, but he's getting it out to him and, and completing balls. And the Barnstormers are going to use the timeout right here, try to get things shored up defensively. It comes with 8.25 left in the second quarter. And with that, a break in the action. Arizona driving and leading 14-7. Back at Wells Fargo Arena right after these messages.
Hello, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. For over 30 years, we've helped thousands of people solve their financial problems. So we got a little carried away. $44,000 in debt with a 25% annual interest rate. We could never pay that down. Consumer Credit of Des Moines lowered our monthly payment and lowered the interest rate to under 5%. And we improved our credit score. If they can help us, they can help you. Yes, we can. Call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Yeah, I'm picking up this girl, but I heard that her dad is a pig. It could take years to find the right one, but saving for her wedding starts now. FSB Savings. Say I do today. Stormers have viewed their second of the allotted three timeouts here in the first half as they find themselves facing a second and two call for Arizona. Arizona with a 14 to seven lead and trying to stretch it. Jamal Miles goes wide to the far side of the field. On the near side comes Gibbons along with Reed. Kettle takes the pitch. Now throws on the run and throws to an empty corner of the end zone. The pass incomplete. A penalty marker's down. This would be third down and two, but we'll check out the penalty. A 14 to seven Arizona lead here with about 8.16 left to play in the first half. Defense, defense, number 25 linebacker was not stationary at the snap. That penalty force half the distance to goal. Yardage results in a first down. Desmond Reed guilty for the Barnstormers. And again, he's one of two players just added to the defense this week. So sometimes it takes a while to figure it out, doesn't it? Yeah, there's some different rules in this game. And just getting in, you know, his first start here, he'll, he'll learn. But that's a tough one for the Stormers there to give up uh, a first down. Barnstormers still adjusting their roster as teams do early in the year. So that makes it first and goal for Arizona on the penalty. Running play to Brooks. Brooks near the goal line, and it's going to be stopped just short. Shannon Brooks on the carry. The Barnstormers stop it up the middle, and in the middle of the play was Ty Tate, number 18, a rookie from Millersville University. Goal to go from a yard out for the Rattlers. They have averaged 45 points a game this year, but given up 47 points a game, and again, Defense has been the issue for them thus far. Running play once again and into the end zone for a touchdown is Brooks. Once again, they give it to Brooks, and this time he goes in standing up, and it's the second touchdown of the night for the former Golden Gopher, Shannon Brooks. Let's get another look at it, Brady. Yeah, it looks similar to the play they scored on, I believe, last drive. Uh, looks like the quarterback might have a read there. Uh, decides to hand it off, and once again, he kind of walks in untouched there. So the Barnstormers having some defensive struggles early in this one. And on to attempt the point after Dawson Evitz went to Cutstown University in Pennsylvania. And again, he has not missed a point after this season. And that continues with his third tonight. And on the season, he is now 22 out of 22. So it's a seven play, 45 yard drive. And again, thus far, the Barnstormer defense has had some struggles and are falling into a place they have been before, and that's falling behind early in ball games. Yeah, uh, offense is going to have to come out here and put some put some points on the board. It's tough for the defense to get down in this league. Um, scoring just comes so quickly. And so that means even though we've still got plenty of time left in the first half, a little bit of uh, concern or pressure on the Barnstormers on this offensive possession. Yeah, definitely a lot of time left, but uh, you don't want to fall, you know, three scores behind. So it'd be big for the offense to, to get out here and put some points on the board. 
Couple of touchdown runs by Shannon Brooks from two yards and one yard and a 38 yard touchdown from Kettle to Miles. The Arizona scores. The Barnstormers score a King to Williams 23 yard touchdown pass, which occurred early in the ball game. But since then, the Barnstormers have been shut out on a couple of possessions. Once running out of downs, and back to return the kick is the very dangerous Keon Williams. The fans are really going to grow to enjoy the performance of that six 195 pound rookie. It was one of the final cuts in the Toronto camp in the CFL. And then we mentioned a couple of times that not only a touchdown return on a kickoff, but also another touchdown in the second half against Massachusetts last week. So wound up with a good ball game and he has got some room for a return. Tries to sidestep a tackle, and it's a nice open field stop by Arizona. Good coverage there by the kickoff team. Ten got down there quick and, and made a play. Connor Taylor on the tackle for Arizona. Great kick, too. Had some hang time there. Gives, gives time for the defenders to get down and make that tackle. And it looked like really nobody stopped him on his trip down the field. Yeah. So the Barnstormers start deep in their own territory with still 6.49 left to play in the first half. I would trailing it 21 to 7, but again, very important possession for the Barnstormers. Tariq Bateman, who did not play last week because of an injury, in at one guard spot for the Barnstormers. And in at the other is Christopher Strother. At center, Joe Bastante. King with the snap. Tries to hit. The open receiver, Keon Williams, I shouldn't say open, though he will, was well covered on the play by Isaiah Huff. So the sure. Barnstormers go long, go to midfield on first down and not able to convert. Yeah, just missed him there. I think he had some pressure in his face, had to get rid of it a little sooner than he'd like, but um, decent ball, just got to gotta get it to him a little, a little sooner. Arizona is putting good pressure on him. Yeah, he, he's, he's having to get the ball out quick, but um, he definitely gets some pressure in his face. Darren Wilson, who played at Iowa State, one of the wide receivers to the near side of the field. Keon Williams is the other. And a timeout call, I believe, by the Barnstormers. They, they have and that have used their timeout. So the fact that Dave Mogison has had to use three timeouts early just indicates how inexperienced this team is. Yeah, especially on that one, it looks like it was a formation issue. Uh, maybe one of the receivers wasn't lined up on the right side, but... It's early in the season. It's a new game for a lot of these guys. Um, still learning the rules, formations. Um, so it, it's tough, but once you get a hold of it, it you know it, it gets better. And as far as from an experience standpoint, Arizona by far the more experienced squad. Yeah. Yep. You can definitely tell that uh, early on in this game. Arizona's had some interesting quarterback situations, which we will talk about as the evening goes on. But one of them was last week the veteran. Lorenzo Brown Jr. out of Sioux Falls fame was their starting quarterback and they released him this week apparently because they felt Dalton Sneed was healthy but we've not Sneed, Sneed so far tonight as Garrett Kettle has been the quarterback. But right now it's the Barnstormers on offense with 545 to go in the first half. Looking to dig out of a hole and that pass is incomplete. The intended receiver way overthrown on the play. That was Trey Long and again Long claiming that maybe he was interfered with. Yeah, it looks like the quarterback receiver weren't on the same page there. He might have had an option route. Um, quarterback thought he was breaking out and looks like he was wanting to break in. Long, a veteran out of Shaw University, his first year as a barnstormer. And he played in a different league last year in the American Arena League. And he's one of those players that Dave Mokasin said is still trying to adjust to the rule differentials between the two leagues. Here comes the third and 10 call from the five yard line for Iowa. King, again with pressure, steps up in the pocket, carries the football, and gets up to about the nine yard line, and that'll leave the Barnstormers with fourth down and still about six or seven yards to go. So once again, King getting a lot of pressure, the defensive line for Arizona putting a lot of heat on it. Yeah, to step up in the pocket there. Uh, didn't have a lot of time and decided to tuck it and try to get the yards that way. That time charging through 3-0 Majette, who was the num who had a lot of pressure on him and actually winds up getting hit pretty hard. In fact, you saw Brad Bunning asking him if he was okay. 
So the Barnstormers now with a fourth and eight call. And Gabe Rui will come in to attempt a 60-yard field goal. This would be a career best for him. And, of course, in the IFL, you don't expect 60-yard field goals. What, in essence, you have is, is a punt. And back to return it is Jamal Miles. And Miles can't catch up to it. And it will be a penalty marker there. Flag thrown at the point where Miles was supposed to field that Eric kick from Rui, and again, more or less a punt, even though you can't punt in the IFL. And we'll have to see Brad Bunting walking down the field to join the officiating crew. Brian Kenny, John Cameron, Zach Burt, and Dan Ziggers are working with him. And it'll be an interesting call here, what we get from Brad Bunting. During the play, there's fan interference reaching over the wall, touching the ball in play. The ball is at the two-yard line. By rule, to enforce 10 yards. First down, Arizona at the 12-yard line. We'll get another look at Brady. Did a fan ever try to interfere with the ball you were supposed to catch? Oh, yeah, a lot of times, uh, especially away games. Home, home, they would stay off the board, but uh, I remember a few times, definitely in Arizona, uh, where you had to fight some fans for the ball. Well, he gets to keep the football anyway. That is an interesting rule that I, I did not no, you could get a flag for that. Uh, that's interesting as well, and it comes in the corner of the end zone. A little tough for us to see it from up here, but very obviously the fan interfered. By the way, the red football, this year IFL teams for certain games will be allowed to use their team colors for the football, and that's why you're seeing a red one used by the Barnstormers tonight. But so far, it's been more effective for Arizona. Garrett Kettle remains a quarterback, and why not? He's off to a really good start. Quick header up the middle. Shannon Brooks on the carry. Brooks gets turned head over heels as he carries up to across the 20-yard line. And they will spot it enough for a first down. Gain another, of 10 on the play. Another screen here by Arizona, a little differently uh, with the running back there, but screens are working for him early on. They really have been very successful. And flying in for the Barnstormers is quite a tackle. I believe that was Ty Tate, but I'm not sure. I have to check the number again. As you take a look at Kevin Guy, what a career he's had in indoor football. He's also the team's president and also part owner of the Tucson franchise. Running play, Jamal Miles stopped at the 25-yard line after a gain of three. Leading the charge was Jefferson Fritz. They will spot him down at the 21-yard line, so a good game that time. And once again, Arizona moving the ball very successfully against the Barnstormers, who, as we mentioned earlier, found themselves in a deep hole at halftime of the last two games, 22-3 at Tulsa two weeks ago, 24-7 at Mass last week. So in danger of falling there again with just 225 to play in the first half. Play action fake, quarterback keeps, Kettle to the 15-yard line, has a first down. First down for the Rattlers as they carry the football to the 15-yard line. I'm not sure if that was a broken play or uh, it looks like it was, it was designed. Good play call there. And dragging down the quarterback for the Barnstormers, Christopher Oakley, a 6'3", 235-pounder. Third year in the IFL was at the Quad City team the last couple of years. So the Barnstormers trying to get something going defensively. And those screen passes have been so effective for the Rattlers. It's really a good way to avoid a, a t interception and a turnover if you can be successful on those plays. And that time the pass is complete to Jamal Miles. Ball inside the 10-yard line at the 9. Rattlers are going to take some time here. Barnstormers can't stop the clock, so the Rattlers are probably going to try to use as much time as they can as we near the one-minute mark. And, in fact, they're not going to snap the football before the one-minute mark. So one minute remains in the first half here at Wells Fargo Arena. Arizona has not trailed in this ball game, and they lead 21-7.
Welcome back to the price match game. Today we're playing for a new range from GE. Let's price match. Jack from House Station, what have you got? Well, I can do $9.99. What about you, Skippy from Bottoms? I can beat the House Station with $900. Kurt from Archer Home Center, can you price match $900? I can price match that and we'll install it and service it as long as you own it. It looks like you win, and our audience at home wins too by taking advantage of Archer Home Center's price match guarantee. Get big rewards with every tap with FSV Rewards Checking. An effective performance for Arizona quarterback Garrett Kittle thus far has completed nine passes and 11 tries, 113 yards and a touchdown. A minute left to play in the first half. And it's a handoff, fake to Miles. Instead, going to the end zone and streaking for the score that time for Arizona is Garrett Kettle, the quarterback. So he faked the handoff to Miles, tucked it in, carried it himself, got to the end zone, and it's a 27-7 ball game. They've had a lot of success, success on the ground there. Um, that's hard to stop. And again, there's just a big opening there. The last moment, Fritz tried to get there, but not in time. So three different Rattlers have scored. Brooks twice, Miles once, and now the quarterback, Kettle. Successful, and Dawson Evitz kicks the point after, and again, he has not missed one this year, and the halftime or near halftime score has grown to 28-7 in favor of the Rattlers. And the Barnstormers now, no timeouts, but 54 seconds left. Let's get another look at the touchdown run. It looks like they got a jet sweep type motion, fakes it to the receiver there, and just a, a wide open hole. Good blocking downfield by the O-line too. Nine yard run by Kittle, caps a five play, 38 yard drive. And the Barnstormers find themselves in a hole down by 21, just 54 seconds. Again, no timeout. So Brady, there's still time, but you got to use very wisely, right? Yep, definitely. You want to, got to get a good first couple plays here, get some yards, get some momentum going, and, and hopefully get some, some points on the board before halftime. Arizona, 176 yards in total offense. The Barnstormers limited to 55. Keon Williams back to return the Dawson Evitz kick. King thus far has thrown eight times, completed three for 31 yards. Has not been sacked, but has had a lot of rushes. 54 seconds left in the first half. At halftime, chance for you to catch up with Jefferson Fritz. One of the many new Barnstormers, a defensive player who also gets some snaps on offense and is the holder. He does everything. He'll be our halftime guest. Williams to the 10, to the 15, dragged down from behind. Tackle made by Jarmaine Dowds, the third-year pro from Southern Utah, and that's where the Barnstormers will have it with now 49 seconds remaining in the first half. It's a little hard to evaluate King's performance based on the number of rushes that he's had to endure from the defense, right? Yeah, he's he's kind of running all over short on time there, but he's made some good throws. Uh, hopefully here we can connect some passes. And has not made a big mistake, and that's important thus far, especially for a rookie quarterback. So Kyle King, who played at Mary Harden Baylor, and we mentioned it earlier, won a national championship for them. Back on first down, delivers up the middle, and it's caught by Keon Williams. Williams to the midfield strike. And it's the first down. Good read by King there. Wide open middle of the field. Barnstormers have to hurry, 42 seconds. In the half, King with time, delivers, and the pass is into the stands. 
and making an effort to grab it out of the stands was defensive back Isaiah Huff. The Barnstormers had Keon Williams there. He was the intended target. And Williams thus far, a couple of receptions. One in this series and one earlier for 23 yards. And that for a touchdown. So now we're down to 32 seconds in the half. It's a second down and 10 call for the Barnstormers. King getting some protection this time. Now breaking through and almost getting to him. The Rattlers, and then the pass is dropped. So a tough sequence for the Barnstormers. Robert Washington, the intended receiver, but a terrific rush put on by C. Von Lowry. Receivers weren't open really downfield. Great defense by the corners and the safeties on, on the Rattlers. And nevertheless, it's a catch that Robert Washington thinks that maybe he should have had. Despite the fact that there was some double coverage. And so now the Barnstormers face a third and 10 call with still 24 seconds to go in the half. Now remember, Arizona has all their timeouts remaining, so the Barnstormers do not want to give Arizona a chance to get their hands on the football again. King delivers, this time finds a wide open receiver, and it's first and goal, Barnstormers. Good job that time by Keon Williams to work himself open for the catch. Best field position of the night for the Barnstormers, other than the touchdown, is they've got the ball at the seven yard line. And spiking the football to stop the clock with 12 seconds is Kyle King. Similar to the first play they ran on this drive, uh, had a stop route about 15 yards middle of the field, a wide open once again, good catch, got upfield and got the first down. Third catch of the night for Williams, and he looks like he's going to be a terrific target for Barnstormer quarterbacks this year. Second and goal at the seven. 14 seconds. They stopped the clock at 12. They added two seconds. So now 14 seconds remain. How many plays can you run in 14 seconds, Brady? In this league, uh, quite a few. I would two or three if you get them out quick. Barnstormers, though, would like to not worry about that and score on number one. Robert Washington is the running back. King. Delivers, and the pass is incomplete, and a penalty marker is down. A flag thrown in the end zone. The ball went where no one was. Looks like the receiver is trying to maybe break back out there and, and wasn't able to. Maybe due to uh, some holding by the Well, defense. they've been asking for pass interference or <laughs> defensive holding all night long. Let's see if this time the call will be that. Illegal contact, defense, number 24. That penalty for half the distance goal, automatic first down. Omar Alexander on the call defensively for the Rattlers. So the Barnstormers now have the ball put down at the three and a half yard line, 11 seconds left to play. In the first half, and the Barnstormers desperately trying to get on the board. Strutter, Bastante, and Bateman up front for Iowa. Washington, the running back, off to the right of Kyle King. King fires to the left corner of the end zone, and Trey Long, the intended receiver, cannot hang on. So it will be a second down call and goal to go, but now we're down to seven seconds. Long covered well on the play. Good ball by King, too. Gave his receiver a shot. You got to come down with that one if, if you're the receiver. That time the defensive line gave him that moment to throw. Key call here with seven seconds left to play in the half. King delivers, and it's caught in the end zone for a Barnstormer touchdown. The grab made by Keon Williams, touchdown Iowa. Definitely needed touchdown by Iowa. They score with three seconds on the clock in the first half. Great catch there. Great catch by, by Williams. So for Keon Williams, his fifth touchdown reception of the season, his second tonight, Gabe Rui on to attempt the point after and cut the Rattlers lead to 14. And the kick is blocked. 
A block kick that time. The Barnstormers having some problems on the interior, and the score will be 28 to 13 as the point after is blocked. So the Barnstormers now will have to kick off to Arizona with just three seconds remaining in the half. But certainly some momentum for the Barnstormers by being able to get the offense going on that last series. Yeah, that was big to get down there and, and get, get the offense moving one, get the quarterback a little more comfortable in there, getting it out to your receivers and letting them make a play. Able to complete a seven-play, 34-yard drive in just 51 seconds. So the hurry-up offense. Worked well for Iowa, and it results in a touchdown throw to Williams. Again, his second touchdown of the night thrown by Kyle King. Barnstormers ready to kick off and probably will not want to kick it to number 14, Glenn Gibbons, who's a very good return player, and he'll be back deep for Arizona. And also back there, Jamal Miles, and Miles dangerous as well. Gabe Rui, Chris says always that effort to the deuce, right? Yep. He splits the uprights and gets two and gets the extra point back and then one. Well, he's gonna go for it, isn't he? And it is very close, did he get it? He did not, just off to the left. So three seconds left. And so Arizona will get it at the 20-yard line with time for one. This was pretty close, wasn't it? Looked good from up here. Very last minute, slides off left. left. Looked like he had enough leg. He did. And again, led the league last year in that category. Would have loved to get one there after the point after attempt was blocked. So Arizona with probably just one play here, barring penalty, at the 20-yard line. And back in safety. Like they're going for a field goal. They're going to try a field goal. Tyrell Pearson back in case there's a return. This will be a 45-yard kick by Dawson Evitz. He's been good this year, seven of nine field goals, but his long is 31, and this will be for 45. And that is going to get nowhere coach close, and Pearson is going to have a chance at a return, and he is going to be fielded at the 10-yard line. No flags are down, so that brings the first half to an end. Barnstormers score last in the half to get back into this one, and at the end of the first half of action, it's Arizona with a 28-13 lead here in the home opener for the Iowa Barnstormers against one of the outstanding franchises in IFL history, the Arizona Rattlers. Again, halftime at Wells Fargo Arena, and it is Arizona 28 and Iowa 13. mom in the history books but she's going to change history forever you'll never learn about her in school but she'll redefine everything we know she's not a scientist or a doctor but she's going to help save a lot of lives my mom works at mediacom and they're going to bring us one of the world's first 10g broadband platforms mom says dream big Tracks, bright lights, top down, skylights, the canvas wide open, yeah. Red shoes, gold chains, big hair, ballet, the cameras are rolling. Oh, one shot, one dream, six hearts, one team. Cause we walk to the streets when we hit it to the beat. On Unleash the your games. inner athlete. Register now for the Summer Iowa Games presented by Grinnell Mutual.
It's halftime of the home opener for the Barnstormers, and we get a chance to visit with Jefferson Fritz, who's off to an outstanding start at his rookie year as a Barnstormer. And Jefferson, first of all, let's uh, talk about your defense, because you are leading the league in tackles after three weeks. So apparently not much of an adjustment to you for the IFL. Is, is that safe to say or not? <laughs> uh, it's still an adjustment for me personally. Um, the game's a lot faster. Everything hits a little quicker. But uh, as far as our defense goes, I think we have a really solid defense this year. And uh, I'm really looking forward to really string along some wins with this defense and get our offense going. How about the rules changes and the fact you have to adjust to some new rules indoors? Has that been a problem? Um, it's a little different. Nothing too crazy uh, that I haven't dealt with. Um, but as far as all the rules go, it's pretty much the same as outdoor football. <laughs> Very good. Now, so we're talking about you leading the league in tackles, but... You've also had some snaps on offense, and I understand you're going to get some more tonight. Tell me about the offensive side of your game. Oh, Lord, I don't know much about it. I played a little bit in high school, um, not much in college, not at all, actually. Um, but definitely uh, it was fun fun to get back on the offensive side and kind of get some reps and practice, and if they need me in the game, hopefully I can produce for them. Well, Coach indicated he probably thought you'd get some snaps, so you going to be ready for that? Oh, yeah, yes, sir, most definitely. Now, you still the holder also? Yes, sir. So what can't you do on a football field? <laughs> that is to be determined. <laughs> what about what about holding, though? How, is that something you've done before? Uh, yes, sir, I did it in um, high school and a little in college. Just playing around in college, uh, we normally have our backup punter uh, do that in college, so didn't get much reps at it, but whenever he asked if I could, I said, yeah, I'll try it out and uh, try not to let Rui down out there. Let's talk about your college career. 24 career receptions, a Division Three All-American at Mary Harden Baylor, and you won two national championships. What were some of the highlights of your career? Uh, I would say some of the highlights of my career were those two national championships, and my freshman year, uh, we went to my first national championship and lost. So I think that was a really, really big highlight in my career, just wanting to get back and actually win it. And so we strung together a, a really good group of guys, and uh, I think that is another highlight. I came out with multiple, multiple friends for life, and uh, that was the best experience ever. And one of them happens to be a teammate in Kyle King. He gets his first start at quarterback tonight. Tell us about him. Uh, he's a really stand-up guy, awesome guy, really works his butt off, and uh, I think he really deserves this opportunity, and I'm hoping he can do something with it. You surprised to wind up in the same team? Honestly, yes and no. Um, he actually got signed before I did, and he had told Coach Moogs about me, and uh, I was just sitting at home teaching, and uh, he gave me a call and said, you still interested? And I said, yes, sir. So, yeah, tell us about what you do in the off season. Uh, in the off season, well, obviously I work out and stuff. Um, I help with the strength program at uh, Kaufman High School. And uh, I helped teach geometry for some uh, special ed kids and all that stuff. So, Geometry. Were you good at that in high school? Uh, I'm definitely a lot better with numbers than I am English. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's for sure. I'd be just the opposite. I could do English. Uh, geometry, forget it. Uh -huh. How'd you become a barnstormer? How did that happen? Um, like I said, um, Kyle reached out to Coach Moogs, and uh, he obviously got signed. And then whenever that happened, he had asked Kyle if there was any other players, you know, came from. Knew our school was a pretty good school. And so he reached out, and he called me, asked if I was interested, and I said, yeah. Did you think you were going to play some more? Uh, yes, I was hoping. I've been training for the past. I was out for two years, I believe. And so I kind of kept that process and knew my chance was going to come by somebody. And uh, here we are. Well, Jefferson, welcome to Des Moines. Welcome to the Barnstormers. Great success so far. Continued success to you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Jefferson Fritz, our halftime guest. We'll have more at halftime right after this. Welcome back to the Price Match Game. Today, we're playing for a new range from GE. Let's Price Match. Jack from House Station, what have you got? Well, I can do $9.99. What about you, Skippy from Bottoms? I can beat the House Station with $900. Kurt from Archer Home Center, can you price match $900? I can price match that, and we'll install it and service it as long as you own it. It looks like you win, and our audience at home wins too by Archer taking advantage of Archer Home Center's Center. Price Match Guarantee.
At Mediacom, we believe that whether you live here, or right here, or way out in the middle of anywhere, you should have access to fast, reliable internet. That's why we were one of the first to bring gig speeds to every customer we serve. Why we're blazing new paths to bring fast internet even further. And why we're leading the way in developing one of the nation's first 10G platforms. It doesn't matter where you are. With Mediacom, you're always moving forward. Halftime at Wells Fargo Arena, Arizona with a 28 to 13 lead over the Barnstormers, who trailed 28 to seven, scored on their last series, which was uh, all in all pretty important in terms of the Barnstormers getting some momentum. Yeah, definitely get some momentum back on offense and, and kind of moving that into the second half is gonna be big. So a new quarterback for the Barnstormers, a rookie, what did you think of Kyle King's first half? He made some good throws. Um, I think he's kind of moving around back there. He's got some pressure, um, but overall I think you know, he's, he's, he's getting more comfortable. He's going to make more throws. Receivers are going to help him out. And I think he'll do pretty good this second half. His standout receiver was Keon Williams, who's also new to the Barnstormers. What did you think of his performance in the very, first half? Very good. He's a very shifty receiver. He made a great catch on that um, touchdown. Ball was a little outside, but he, he made great hands catch, and he, he's playing well. And before we go to our highlights of the first half, catch everybody up on what you've done since your retirement. Yeah, so um, working back in my hometown, Carlisle, uh, Central Iowa Insurance is where I work. I've worked there since high school, but um, I've gotten married. Me and my wife now have two kids. My son, Reed, just turned three, and my daughter, Marie, um, she will be two in July. So. Reed, a future barnstormer? We'll see. He, he's <laughs> pretty rowdy, so he might be on the right track. Very good. Let's take a look at our first half highlights. And the Barnstormers found that they kicked Arizona and the Rattlers didn't take long to score, just second play from scrimmage. Yeah, they started off quick here with the screen. Great play by two, uh, made a couple guys miss and walked in the end zone. Jamal Miles getting into the end zone. Barnstormers had a quick answer though. Yeah, great throw here. Receiver open, that was one of those throws where you, they're so open you kind of hesitate and you don't want to overthrow them. Then Keon Williams, one of two touchdown passes that he caught, Gatling with a nice opening half for the Barnstormers defensively. But then back comes Arizona and Shannon Brooks in the end zone. Yeah, the running game kind of taken over for the Rattlers here, and, and it's worked pretty well for them in that first half. And again, this time it opens up for the quarterback, Garrett, into the end zone. Garrett Kettle. And that makes it 28 to 7. So the Barnstormers now desperately needing a score before halftime to get one. Yeah, great great drive here. Got the ball out quick uh, right here on the touchdown. Great catch by three. Um, yeah, like you said, a lot of momentum going into half. The PAT was blocked, so the Barnstormers set the half. Trail Arizona, 28 to 13. Take a look at the numbers, and I guess the thing that maybe stands out is total yardage and the big difference there. Yeah, big difference is total yards. And, and to be honest, the, the Stormers got a lot of those yards in that first drive and along with that second one. So the, the middle drives, they've kind of struggled, but um, Rattler's offense is moving. Third down conversions, the Barnstormers again, just one of four, but again, because of a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, yep, he's had a lot of pressure in his face, kind of moving around and, and trying to make a play. So Arizona had a lot of success with that screen play in the first half. They scored a couple of times on it. What does Iowa's defense have to do to shore up in that area? Yeah, they got to come up uh, and fit a little better. I think um, they got to, when they see that, when they make that read, they got to come up and, and blow up either the the blockers or you know make the tackle on the receiver. Now we thought running would be significant for Iowa because Arizona has allowed more yards on the ground than anybody. Do you look for more from the Iowa running game in the second half? Yeah, they've really kind of shut that down for Iowa's offense. Uh, the Rattlers' defense has. So I would I would look to get some plays going uh, run game wise on offense and maybe that'll open up a little more in the pass game downfield. Barnstormers will get the ball to begin the second half of play. Arizona with the lead 28-17 as they get ready for second half action and you look at the quarterback for the Arizona Rattlers in a good first half. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. 
Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Hot tracks, bright lights, top down, skylights, the canvas wide open, yeah. Unleash your inner athlete. Register now for the Summer Iowa Games presented by Grinnell Mutual. Arizona leads Iowa 28-13 at halftime, and this the home opener, but lots of fun ahead for Barnstormer fans. The Barnstormers will be decked out in specially Star Wars themed uniforms on Saturday, May the 4th, as they face the Quad City Steamwheelers. The first 1,000 kids 12 and under at the game will receive a free lightsaber. Online jersey auction and exclusive limited edition merchandise will be available, and of course, May the 4th be with you. And then on Saturday, May the 11th, it's Billy's Birthday Bash. Meet Billy the Barnstormer and all his mascot friends as Iowa takes on the Massachusetts Pirates. First 1,000 fans at the game will receive a Billy the Barnstormer campaign button. Fans can also enjoy dollar hot dogs through the first half of the game. Which means we better keep our statistician Frank Kazak up here in the booth because he might just take way more hot dogs than a dollar than he should. So at halftime, it's Arizona 28, Iowa 13, second half action coming up right after this. Big rewards with every tap with FSV Rewards Checking. Second half about to begin. Dave Bogusson's team will get the ball first to begin the second half of play. And that is uh, important because the Barnstormers scored to end the first half. And now an opportunity to put back-to-back -back scores on the board and get right back into this one, Brady. Yeah, definitely be huge to, to get a drive going here and, and get some points on the board. Hopefully get seven more and close the gap a little bit. Good look at Keon Williams, who had a good first half. Caught six passes for 61 yards, two touchdowns. And as a kick returner, didn't have much success because didn't get a lot of blocking help there. Just four returns for 13 yards. So the Barnstormers hope that they can get him a little bit more daylight because he is a dangerous runner. 6'1", 195 pounds, rookie from Buffalo. Kicking it off to begin the half, Dawson Evitz, who is really one of the fine kickers thus far in the IFL season. He has made seven field goals already and hit all of his PATs. Williams takes it on the run. Tries to sidestep the first wave of tacklers and gets caught as he gets to the 18-yard line. Downfield on the stop for Arizona was Rashi Hodge, a three-year pro from New Mexico State, who's number three on their team in tackles. And so the Barnstormers will start now 
at the 17 yard line. Again, it's a rookie quarterback in Kyle King. Led Mary Harden Baylor to a national championship in 2021. 31 games at Mary Harden Baylor. He threw for nearly 7,000 yards and 82 touchdowns. Wow. On first down, he's looking for a touchdown right here with Williams. A lot of contact there. And there was a lot of contact there, and the flag is thrown. Jermaine Dowds, Dobbs was the defender, and there was contact all the way down the field on Williams. Yeah, it looks like he had a, um, a double move there. Looks like he was going out and up, and on the up, he had some contact. Defense, number five, 15 yards, previous spot, automatic first down. Dabbs, the leading tackler for Arizona, 19 and a half on the season, but guilty here of uh, hands a couple of times, right? Yeah, they could have thrown more than one, one flag, right? And so the Barnstormers get the ball moved up into Arizona territory at the 20 yard line. Great field position here. So the Barnstormers, who really need to score on this possession to get back in the ball game, get a break right there. Play action fake. Once again, it is King keeping after faking to the running back Washington. He carries to the 16 yard line. Gets four on first down. Good, reading by, good read by King here. Had the option to hand it off or take it, and he decides to take it and, and get what he can get. Tackle made by Jamius Pittman. Second and six for Iowa, just underway, third quarter. Arizona with a one and three record coming in. Barnstormers looking for their first win in three tries. Vistante ready to snap the ball back to King. This time King gets pressure, delivers, and the pass is caught, and it's a terrific catch in the left corner of the end zone. Man, what a grab that time by Trey Long. Wow, what a catch. What a catch and what a throw. That ball was thrown perfectly, only where the receiver could get it. Great catch. Just throws a rocket over there and gave his, gave his receiver a shot, and the receiver did his job. Great catch. That reminds me of Brady Rowland. So many times you went over the board. That was, it was fun about this league is going over the board. Didn't feel the greatest, but it, it was definitely fun. But you always bounced right back up, just <laughs> like Trey Long did right there. So for Long, it's his first touchdown as a Barnstormer. Now Rui in to attempt the point after as the Barnstormers pulled to within nine of the Rattlers on the opening drive here in the third quarter. That kick by Rui is good, so we have timeout with 12.46 left to play in the opening half, and it's the 28-20 ball game as the Barnstormers score back-to-back -back touchdowns. And while we have a moment, let's check out the IFL scoreboard. Vegas and Jacksonville, a franchise that's new in the league this year, into the fourth quarter, and Vegas trying to hold on for a road win. Meanwhile, Frisco, a power last year in the conference and one of the powers this year, trying to improve their record to 4-0 with that big win over, big lead over Tulsa, Northern Arizona, and Duke City just getting started. Massachusetts hasn't lost a game yet, and yet Quad City has got them 23-16 in the third quarter. Bay Area, the defending champ in the IFL, playing San Diego, that went early. And on Thursday night, it was San Antonio knocking off Tucson, 60 to 36. And Green Bay surprising Sioux Falls, 48-35. And Brady, did you ever think I would talk about Sioux Falls being off to an 0-4 start? <laughs> Not when I was around. That, that didn't happen much or didn't happen at all. No, they are, were the perennial champs in the IFL. But it's a different season. And Lorenzo Brown no longer their quarterback, and it'll be interesting to see. Rui's all pumped up as he kicks this one about uh, 12 rows deep into the stands, wide though of the uprights. And so it will be the Rattlers starting at the 20-yard line. So that's the second time that that kick has not been returned. So this time it goes out to the 25 yard line. So the rookie quarterback for the Barnstormers, three touchdown passes, two to Williams and that went to Long. Meanwhile, we take a look at the Garrett Kettle numbers and he had an outstanding first half. Yeah, and I think something that uh, King will learn as he plays more is sometimes you just gotta give your receiver a shot like he did on that last drive. Um, instead of maybe holding on to it, just, just get rid of it and let those guys make their money. From midfield, Arizona, again, because the uh, kick was 
not returnable for the second time. Kettle throws, swings it out to Glenn Gibbons Jr., who's very dangerous, very elusive, and he carries all the way down to the 11 for a first down for Arizona. Gibbons, an outstanding receiver, already has caught 10 touchdown passes this season, 23 passes overall. Another screen here. They've had a lot of success with that, getting that ball out quick, and those receivers are blocking very well downfield. Gibbons' first year at Arizona, but he played at Northern Arizona and was part of two IFL championships. You mentioned interesting quarterback situation for the Rattlers. Last year they had Drew Powell as their quarterback, a name you're familiar with because I know he helped lead the Barnstormers to that championship in 2018. They traded him in the offseason to Bay Area, and the Bay Area quarterback, Dalton Steen, came over to Arizona but has not played the last two ball games due to injury. Kettle throws, completes it to Jamal Miles. Miles battles his way down to the two-yard line or the three-yard line. We'll see where they mark it. And it'll be very close to a first down. They're going to put it actually at the four-yard line. So it'll bring up second down and two. Let's go Barnstormer defense. Fritz on the tackle, but too late for stopping Jamal Miles. Miles, who caught the game's first touchdown pass. Empty backfield for Garrett Kettle. Should be a flag here. 12 was not set. Looks like an illegal motion or something. So the Barnstormers are going to get a break this time and the call going Fire against set, Arizona. False start, three-minute motion. Five-yard penalty, previous spot. False Remain, start, just the third down. penalty against Arizona in the ball game, and the Barnstormers call for only two. Very clean game thus yeah, far. Yeah, it's been a very clean game, which is good to see from a coaching, coaching staff for sure. Ball placed back at the nine-yard line. Kettle played at Benedictine College in Kansas, was an NAIA Honorable Mention All-American, and was the quarterback in North Arizona last year. So a lot of swaps of quarterbacks. And again, Kettle comes to Arizona, slated to be the backup, but getting the starting call tonight and doing a terrific job. He's back. He looks. He throws. And the pass is a little bit wide of the intended receiver, Jamal Miles. And he was covered on the play for the Barnstormers by Tyrell Pearson. Pearson, the lone holdover from your days as a Barnstormer, <laughs> yep, I was Brady. looking at the roster, trying to see who was still on, and, and Pearson's still here. He's a great teammate. I really, really enjoyed being around him when I was playing. Great, now, play, great player as well. With so many years for the Barnstormers, has taken really a leadership role, according to Dave Mogison this year. Here comes the third down call, third and seven for Arizona. As they try to stretch an eight-point lead. Pressure from another the corners, screen. complete up the middle. The screen pass works for another touchdown to Shannon Brooks. That screen play has been something the Barnstormers have struggled to defend all night. Yep, both receiver screen and uh, running back out of the backfield. That was very well set up by the Rattlers. 34 to 20, the score with the touchdown. Looks like he looked him off and knew where he's going the whole time, dropped it off and let the running back walk into the end zone. For Brooks, number three, touchdown number three, two on the ground, and that one through the air. And now Evitz to attempt the point after. And extend the lead to 15, and his point after rockets through. And so we have timeout with 9.23 left in the third quarter. And the Rattlers improve their lead over Iowa to 15. It's Arizona 35 and Iowa 20. Are you looking for metal panel options and don't know what type fits your needs? Killian's Custom Metal and Panel offers custom panel solutions at competitive prices for your home, barn, or commercial project. Our metal panels come in a variety of colors and gauges. They're environmentally safe, energy efficient, and last forever. We have 40 years of experience in the metal construction industry, and we get the job done in a one to two day turnaround. Go to our website to see examples of our work. Trust the metal and panel experts at Killian's Custom Metal Roofing. Call today for a free quote. Malware and bots and worms, oh my. The wild, wild web can be a scary and complex place. And as our digital world expands, so too are the threats. 
Watch out! Trojan horse. That's why at Mediacom, we take security very seriously and monitor our networks around the clock to stop threats before they can affect you. Not today, rude kid. Not all internet is created equal. We build ours to keep you connected and protected. Hello, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. For over 30 years, we've helped thousands of people solve their financial problems. So we got a little carried away. $44,000 in debt with a 25% annual interest rate. We could never pay that down. Consumer Credit of Des Moines lowered our monthly payment and lowered the interest rate to under 5%. And we improved our credit score. If they can help us, they can help you. Yes, we can. Call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Brooks hauls in the touchdown. His third of the ball game is third touchdown, two on the ground, and that one through the air. And the Rattlers take a 35 to 20 lead. That a four play, 25 yard drive. So the Barnstormers score, and coming right back to score for Arizona, led by their quarterback Garrett Kettle. Now Keon Williams on the return, looking for his first long one, and this may be it. He breaks it across midfield over the 20-yard line and down to the 16-yard line of Arizona. Longest return of the night by Keon Williams. That time he caught it with a burst of steam, got a couple of nice blocks, and a good return. Yeah, great, great burst there from him. Saw the hole. Looks like there's a collision midfield, and he took advantage and took off. And great play by him. Barnstormers 18 yards from Pater. Down by 15, but the chance is we mentioned to get right back in this one after falling behind 28 to 7 early in this one. Kyle King, who is the son of two coaches, both mom and dad were coaches in high school and are coaches in high school. King back, rifles to the near sideline, caught at the 10 yard line and down to the nine yard line on his first reception of the night. Darren Wilson, the former Iowa State Cyclones. I think coach is getting, getting King some plays where he can get the ball out quick um, so he's not worried about pressure. He's making reads and getting it to the receivers. Mark him down at the 10 yard line, two yards short of a first down, eight and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Washington, the running back to the left of King. He gets the call and he's gonna be stopped for no gain and actually lost on the play. Tackling for Arizona. Sivon Lowry and Jamius Pittman. And so the ball placed down at the 11. It's the loss of a yard. Third down and three for the Barnstormers. Trying to get into the red zone where this year Iowa has been successful eight of 11 times prior to tonight. Barnstormers, not a lot of red zone possessions tonight. This one that I recall, and they successfully completed that one. King able to squirm away from a would-be tackler, carries the football himself and should have a first down. Nice bit of ad-libbing that time by Kyle King. Great play by him. Looks like the play kind of broke down, didn't have an option, and he made a play. And has a first down to show for it. First and goal, Barnstormers. Great first down pick up there. That was big. Again, a big guy, 6'3", 225, but can use his legs successfully and can run over people, as you saw there. So the Barnstormers, first and goal from the seven. Fake pitch to the end zone, and the pass is broken up. Almost the first mistake of the night there. Just King. about. It was Jalen Perkins who played at Grandview University, your alma mater, Brady, who almost came up with the pick. Looks like he was sitting right on it. Good breakup by him. And so the Barnstormers breathe a sigh of relief as they still have the football, second and goal from seven yards out. Trey Long, who caught the last touchdown pass, comes wide to the right side. It's Wilson in the slot on the right. Now the running back, Keon Williams, or the receiver, Keon Williams, plunges forward to the end zone. And let's see if he got there. 
Carries it down to the one. And uh, they ruled it a touchdown. I think they ruled him short. They did. As they no, no official arms went up, and they're going to spot him down at the one-yard line. Very yeah. close. I thought he extended and got it here. Deion Williams coming from the wide receiver spot on the left across the field. Took the handoff, and close. he camped very close, didn't he? Whoa. Unless that knee came down before he crossed. Dave Good angle there. has a red flag, but he's not going to toss it. Goal to go from a yard. Trying to use the big frame. King trying to that quarterback sneak, didn't get there. Looks like there's a flag down as well. You wonder back on the last play if maybe the Barnstormers didn't have a good look at it and the film that they look at on the sideline didn't show that he looked like he'd broken the plane. Yeah, we had a pretty good angle up here, but maybe they didn't have that one. It was it was pretty close. Because it was a running play. Fourth and goal. So now it's still a yard out. Quarterback sneak did not work the first time to Kyle King. So Dave Mokison trying to come up with the scoring. Let's get another look at it. Let's see maybe yeah, they where they stacked the box here. I think obviously they were ready for it. D-line crashed hard and good play by them. Yeah, absolutely nothing to be gained there. And now a timeout is going to be used by Dave Mogison. Well, this is a situation, the Barnstormers, almost a must-score situation, down 35 to 20 with just over, just under five minutes to go in the third quarter. So timeout, Barnstormers facing a decision, fourth and one when we return, right now trailing Arizona 35 to 20. Yeah, I'm picking up this girl, but I heard that her dad is a dick. It could take years to find the right one, but saving for her wedding starts now. FSB Savings. Say I do today. Bastante, Bateman, and Strother are up front for the Barnstormers who need a yard to score and cut a 15-point deficit. Fourth down, goal to go from a yard out. 4.57 remains in the third quarter. They put an extra player in at fullback, but they don't need him as sweeping the corner and getting into the end zone to score for the Barnstormers, Robert Washington. And for Washington, his third touchdown of the season. Barnstormers had some help that time as they put in Chuck Manning as a fullback. That's a hard play to stop when that guy's in full speed motion in such a short field. Washington, who played at Old Dominion most of his career, Valpo late in his career, and now Rui on to attempt the point after. And the hold of Jefferson Fritz. Can make it an eight point game with the conversion. It's up and it is good. So with 4.13 left to play in the third quarter, it's an eight point ball game. The Rattlers have 35, the Barnstormers have 27. A big fourth down conversion for the Barnstormers for a score to cap a seven play, 18 yard drive. And again, a big pass interference penalty against the Rattlers on that drive. Yeah, great job. Great, great drive by Iowa there. 
And we'll get a look at the run by Washington. Great play call here, too. That's a, that's a hard play to stop. O-line did their job, and running back got to walk in clean. Not many times running back gets to walk into the end zone clean like that in this league. Now, I'm not recalling the Barnstormers with a stop yet thus far defensively, but they've had one stop thus far. So this would be a time that Dave Mogison would really like to see another stop and give the Barnstormers the chance to catch yeah, up with the Rattlers. Offense is kind of getting going now, and now they need defense to step up and, and get a stop. Robert Washington, a name you're going to hear a lot about. The Barnstormers very high in their running back who just scored that time. He's 5'11", 220 pounds, good speed. And they said that probably a guy who needed a big game for the Barnstormers to be successful tonight, and so far, so good. Here we go, four minutes, 13 seconds of play in the third. Rui ready to kick off, and deep is Glenn Gibbons, Jr. The third-year pro was with the Rattlers last couple of years. It's a short kick, and it's fielded by Miles, and downfield quickly to make the play for the Barnstormers, Javon France, the rookie from Wayne State. Good coverage there by the, the kickoff team. Great kick by Rui, bounced off the wall, kind of make the ball go all over and hard for the receiver to pick it up. And not wanting to kick deep to Gibbons, so that Definitely. time play worked very effectively and the Barnstormers will play defense as Arizona comes out at the 12-yard line. Garrett Kettle passing the football, 11 of 14, 105 yards and a touchdown. Arizona 143 yards throwing, 63 yards rushing so far. The handoff comes to Shannon Brooks, and Brooks carries to the 15-yard line. Brooks, who, as we mentioned earlier, rushed for more than 2,200 yards at his career at the University of Minnesota, despite battling numerous injuries, and that's 12th best all time at Minnesota. Gain of three brings up a second and seven. Empty backfield. Delivers up the middle and the pass is caught in Barnstormer territory for a first down and then some by Jamal Miles. And Miles pulling in his sixth catch of the night for better than 50 yards. Miles has been pretty tough to stop yeah, for good, the Barnstormer. Good route there by Miles, found a hole in defense, set it down and uh, him and Kittle were on the same page there. Miles has excellent speed. In fact, he still holds the Arizona State record for yards on kickoff returns. So Arizona, as they have virtually every time the Barnstormers have scored except one, trying to make a comeback, and a nice defensive effort by the Barnstormers trying to break up the pass that time was Gatling. Simeon Gatling. That was close. That was close to a pick six there. That would have been big. Gatling, by the way, played at Arizona last year, so he would have loved to have a pick against his former team, and darn near got one. The intended Reed. receiver was Corey Reed. Good look at Gatling. Got hurt late last year, but did play in five games for the Rattlers. He started his career at Morgan State and then spent some time one year in 2018 at Iowa Western before going back to Division I football at Boise State. Kettle throws to the near sideline, and it is caught there by Shannon Brooks. Brooks and Miles, good one-two punch offensively for the Rattlers. Get a five. Tyrell Pearson there for the tackle. Kevin Guy calls the play in. We mentioned Guy, very unique in the fact that not only is the coach and president of Arizona, but he owns a piece of the Tucson franchise. Yeah, I, I believe him and his wife are part of an ownership group. You are right. Tucson. Kettle with the pitch. Jamal Miles trying to get around the corner, but won't get there. Great play by Pearson there. Tyrell Pearson coming up with a big defensive stop. He saw it right away and shot his gap and great tackle. And so it brings up a fourth down call for the Rattlers. Fourth down, two yards to go. Final minute, third quarter. Arizona has an outstanding field goal kicker, but they are not thinking field goal. They will go for it on fourth and two.
Kettle with an empty backfield, and he has run the football effectively tonight for Arizona, needing two yards. Let's see what they do here. They fake, they're going to throw, open. and the pass is caught. Wide open, Jamal Miles into the end zone for a touchdown. On a fourth and two call, good fake that time by Garrett like he might do something else, and then Kettle is able to find Miles. Probably looking for the screen there with the success they've had with that, and came back to the crosser. And Miles, who scored the first touchdown of the night, into the end zone for the second time. And that has brought the end of the third quarter to a close, so the point after will occur here, and then that will be the end of three quarters. Evitz, five of five, kicking the point afters tonight, 24 of 24 on the season. The holder, the backup quarterback, Dalton Reed, who thought we'd be the starting quarterback, but thus far he's just been a holder. That point after is good, and the third quarter comes to an end. And at the end of three periods of play, Arizona playing in Iowa, opening a 42-27 lead. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. minutes 15 minutes remain in this one as we start the fourth quarter Arizona is just scoring to end the third quarter let's take a quick look at the scoreboard Vegas with the win Frisco continues to roll they're undefeated Northern Arizona has opened a 12 point lead against Duke City Massachusetts about to fall for the first time this year if Quad City can hold on to a 14 point lead Bay Area the defending champ leading San Diego and we mentioned Thursday night, it was San Antonio over Tucson, and Green Bay looking like a power in the Eastern Conference, knocking off Sioux Falls on Friday night, last night. Keon Williams back to return, Evitz kickoff. Had a good return last time out, his longest of the night. This time he's going to be penned in, though, and he's going to be tackled inside the five-yard line as downfield a number of players led by Omari Alexander. Yeah, it looks like he hesitated there. That's something we can't do on, on a return there. you got to hit the hole full speed. Had a 23-yarder on his last one, but that time limited to maybe a two-yard return as they place it out to the five-yard line. Oh, he got five yards on the return, so the Barnstormers will start deep in their own territory, needing to not only score a couple of times, but get some defensive stops. Yeah, definitely. Get some points on the board, but the defense got to come in and ultimately get at least one or two stops for us. But as you know, in the IFL, still lots of time left with the quarter to play. Yep, definitely. Kyle King, the Barnstormer quarterback, first start of the season after Darius Peterson started the first three ball games, but struggled a bit, and so King came on to start the second half of Mass last week. He wants it all on this first down play and is not going to get there. In fact, there's not a receiver in the vicinity. Some miscommunication there. 
It looks like the receiver had stopped his route there. Not sure if it was an option or when we were just throwing it away there. Yeah, Long had stopped about 15 yards shy of the football on that right side. And so the Barnstormers now with a second down called their own five yard line. Barnstormers on the road next week at Green Bay and then home against Quad City on May the 4th, Saturday night. And as we would mentioned earlier, that's going to be a very special night, Star Wars night with the first thousand kids, 12 and under, getting a free saber, lightsaber. Complete at the 15 yard line. It's Keon Williams out to the 20, dragged down as he gets to the 20 yard line. Open field tackle turned in by Omari Alexander, but it's the first down for the Barnstormers on a 15 yard yeah, Great route there. Great job by the quarterback getting it out to him and making a play, getting some yards after the contact there, getting the first down. So the Barnstormers now have some room to operate. King put it right on him as he got out of his break there. Williams wide right and long wide left and Wilson in the slot. And Keon Williams also in the slot penalty marker down as back and throwing deep and making the catch but hold everything a penalty marker down on the play. Wilson makes the catch however flag is Arizona. thrown in the backfield. Do you think it's on Arizona? In which case great news for the Barnstormers and the play would stand. And a nice throw that time from Kyle King. Yeah. A 30 yard touchdown if it stands pending the call here. Rizzo will play the touchdown. During the play, we have sideline warning against the Arizona coach. This is his first sideline warning of the game. Oh, so really not a penalty, just a sideline warning. Touchdown, Barnstormers. Huge play there. Good quick score. Great throw by the quarterback. Oh, great catch. And once again, we get another look at it. Great deep ball. Found the ball. Made the catch. And the former Cyclone, Darren Williams with his second touchdown as a Barnstormer. Rui attempt the point after. And that kick is good. And so we have timeout with 12 minutes and 47 seconds left to play in the ball game. The Barnstormers and the Rattlers putting on a good performance tonight. It's Arizona with a 42-34 lead as the Barnstormers looking for their first victory of the year and missed their home opener. Let's get another look at the touchdown, Brady. Yeah, great ball there. Uh, kind of under threw him, but receiver made a great play coming back to it and, and making a catch. I mean, I think I think as he plays more, like I said earlier, Kyle King, he's gonna he's gonna trust his receivers and just uh, throw the ball and let them make the play. Three plays, 45 yards, a 30-yard touchdown strike by the Barnstormers rookie quarterback Kyle King. And so now the Barnstormers will kick off and. Try to come up with the defensive stop. On the night, King now has completed 10 of 23 passes, 130 yards. That his fourth touchdown toss. He's thrown two to Keon Williams, one to Wilson, and one to Long. Wilson making the last catch. And there's a good look at the Barnstormer quarterback. Again, really a guy who has just overachieved from a town of less than 500. Milano, Texas, teaches geometry in the offseason, went to the Peyton Manning Academy, wow. where he actually outshone a couple of SEC quarterbacks in that academy. So, yes, he has some promise. Keeping it on the ground to try to deny a long return. And Great it's a tackle. terrific open field tackle. And they lost the ball. He did, and the Barnstormers yeah. have come up with it, maybe. I think the ground might have caused it. Yeah, they're going to rule that it was he was down, but nevertheless, what a terrific play that time by Arthur Randall. It looked like he was going to break it for a minute. He really did. He came flying in and made a great tackle. His miles, and the tackle is made by Jefferson Fritz. Again, Fritz just coming out of nowhere and just getting him by an ankle. Big play there. Arizona on the attack with 12:34 left in regulation. Garrett Kettle all the way a quarterback fakes the handoff, keeps the football himself, trips up as he crosses the 20-yard line, and he was covered on the play by Jefferson Fritz. 
Ball spotted at the 21 yard line. Where it'll be a gain of four and set up a second and six. Rattlers have used one of their time or none of their timeouts. The Barnstormers have used one here as you think towards the tail end of the ball game and if that might be a factor. 21 yard line for Arizona. Kettle 15 of 19 for 140 yards and two touchdowns. This time it's a running play to Brooks. Brooks nothing going right so he comes back left, crosses midfield and gets close to first down yardage. Probably will wind up a yard short and he's run down on the play by the nose guard Chuck Manning. Pretty shifty move there by Brooks. Kind of shut down on the right side, stopped on a dime and turned it. Again, this man has tremendous amount of talent way based on that outstanding career he had in the Big Ten. So the ball now just over the midfield stripe. It's third down and a long yard for the Rattlers. Kettle fakes, Kettle back to throw, protection breaks down, he's gonna be sacked. He goes down at the 15-yard line. Ty Tate comes up with a sack for the Barnstormers. Huge there, it looks like they might've been trying to set up a screen. Great move by the D-line, huge play. That's just the third sack of the season for the Barnstormers, but a big play that time by Tate. So now it is fourth down, 10 yards to go. Barnstormers look for a hold here. Again, they've had one hold tonight. This will be a field goal try of 48 yards. So they won't even attempt a first down. Dawson Evitz will attempt a 48 yard field goal. And it's gonna be way short. Like Barnstormers got a hand on it. It's picked off by Williams, or rather by Long, oh. and he lost, loses the football perhaps, although I think the whistle was blown. Barnstorber is going to keep the football, but a scary moment for Iowa, as that time was Tyrell Pearson on the return of the missed field goal. So the Barnstormers take over at the five, but again, Brady, they come up with a crucial stop. Huge stop there by the defense. Now we need, need to look for the offense to continue what they've been doing the second half and keep moving the ball and get in the end zone. This Iowa offense has kind of gotten better as the game has worn on. Yeah, I think I think King's getting more comfortable back there. Um, coach is giving him some routes that he can get the ball out quick. Not really worried about the pressure, and uh, it's working for him. It was Connor Taylor who's been in on a lot of special team stops who made the tackle for Arizona. Montgomery in the backfield. King, quick hitter, Keon Williams, the intended receiver, and the play is broken up by Jermaine Dobbs. By the way, the Barnstormers on defense playing without one of their best players tonight, Ian McBurrow. They don't think it's a long-term injury, but he's being missed tonight. And Arizona playing without their top receiver, Isaiah Houston. He is on the short-term IR. Second and 10 coming up. Try to get another quick route there, but good defense by five. Iowa had scored on just one of their first four possessions, but now have scored on four in a row. Our excellent statistician, Frank Kazak, pointing that out. King delivers, oh. and it's caught by Wilson. He catches it at the 21-yard line, right against the board. Covered defensively by Isaiah Huff, and a terrific catch by Darren Wilson. Good route to get open there, and he, he got him the ball. Good throw on the wall there, good catch. That's a hard catch to make. And Wilson, a guy who uh, played at Iowa State, but just getting used to the indoor game. Best game so far has been at Tulsa. He caught three passes, one for a touchdown in that ball game. Played at Iowa State and graduated in 2022, but most of his action, most extensive action, was in 2021. First down for Iowa with room to operate at the 21-yard line. King's getting better protection. He's got some time. It's a leaping grab once again by Trey Long. Another great catch by the Iowa receiving core. Trey Long, who went over the board to catch a touchdown pass earlier, makes a big catch there. Beautiful ball here by King. He places it right over a defender, right in between a couple others. Beautiful. 21-yard gain from King to Long. 
And it's first and goal, Barnstormers at the eight yard line. Iowa down by eight. Has never led in this ball game, was just tied up once and that was at seven. Seven and a half minutes left to play. King takes the hand off to Montgomery. He's going to go to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown run by Kyle King. And the Barnstormers are within a pair on the run by Kyle King. Great read there by the quarterback. I think he had the option here to give it or take it. Pulled it. Made a play. Huge touchdown. So a 21-yard pass to Wilson sets it up. King gets into the end zone, and the Barnstormers have now scored on their last five possessions. And now a decision time here. Do you go for a two-point conversion, or do you go for the more or less, although with a narrower upright, not automatic, one-point conversion, and the Barnstormers are going to go for two to tie it up. Yeah, I like the decision here. Defense has gotten a stop, offense is moving, so. They really have moved it well in the second half and again scored on their last five possessions. Washington is the running back. King, the quarterback. Vestante on the snap. King is back, flushed out of the pocket. Fires it and the pass is incomplete. Wilson was the intended receiver. The pass incomplete, so the two-point conversion fails. But the Barnstormer is able to come back within two on a terrific touchdown effort by Kyle King. His number 17, play action fake, and then a good opening over the right side of the offensive line to get him into the end zone, standing up. 42-40, Arizona 6-12 left to play. Hello, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. For over 30 years, we've helped thousands of people solve their financial problems. Like me, I had $38,000 in credit card debt. I was being charged over 24% interest. Can you believe that? Consumer Credit of Des Moines got it knocked down to 4%. I paid it off in five years and saved $90,000. Can you believe that? Increase my credit score. They can do that for you too. Yes, we can. Call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Larry Morgan and Brady rolling with you on MC22 as Kyle King arriving as a quarterback, a rookie getting his first start. And so far, excellent. Deep kick, it's going to be returnable. Out comes Miles, a penalty marker is down, a penalty marker flies from both areas as he gets up to about the 10 yard line and will check out the flags. Downfield to make the stop, Malcolm Washington just signed by the Barnstormers this week played collegiately at Northern Iowa. Looks like a block in the back or holding there on the returning team. So since the Arizona Rattlers took a 28 to seven lead, the Barnstormers have outscored them 33 to 14. Definitely a different story than the first half. The first half was definitely the Rattlers team. there in, in Iowa. Number 12, not coming to time. Legal block in the back, receiving team number five. That's on the force, half the distance. First down, Arizona. So the Barnstormers, recipient of actually two penalties. One, of course, will be used against Arizona, and they will move that football down inside or right at the five-yard line, and that is where Arizona will take over. So Arizona just 
two scores, or I should say just one score here in the second half, or two scores, I should say, in the second half. But the Barnstorm is outscoring them right now, again, 33-14 to 14 since Arizona built that 28-7 to 7 lead. Barnstorm is looking for their first win of the year in this, their home opener. They will play two of the next three games at home after traveling to Green Bay on Friday. Garrett Kettle all the way at quarterback. Hands it off to his running back, and here's Shannon Brooks with a big hole. Brooks may go all the way, and he does. A long touchdown run of 46 yards by Shannon Brooks as he opens it up for his fourth touchdown of the night. Yeah, he showed both power and speed there. Very tough runner. Lowers his shoulder there and delivers a pretty, pretty good blow and then finishes it off. Great run by three. Uh, and that time, as you mentioned, the offensive line really just opening a hole for him right there. He makes one good cut, and then the Barnstormers can't catch up. Difficult play for the Barnstormers after struggling to score and finally pulling within two with the chance to tie, going for the two-point conversion that failed, and then on the very next play, giving up the six, and the touch the point after by Evitz makes it a nine-point Arizona lead at 49 to 40 with 5-10 left to play. So now emotionally, pretty tough thing for the Barnstormers to overcome, but that's what you have to do in this league. Yeah, definitely. That's tough to see. Go down, get a score, great field position starting for the defense, and then a one-play 45-yard score there. That's tough to swallow. So Shannon Brooks having just an outstanding game for the Barnes for the Rattlers with three running touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. And that puts it very much in line for IFL Player of the Week, the Offensive Player of the Week, if the Raptors can hold on. And Dave Mogison looking down at his play chart, trying to figure out how to get the Barnstormers back into this one. Again, Iowa really putting it together offensively in the second half, but Arizona coming up with a huge play there. Brooks with that 46-yard return, making it 49 to 40. Arizona will be home next for their home game against Jacksonville. That's on Sunday. Arizona has a new home this year. They played in Phoenix since 1992. They moved to Glendale this year to the Desert Diamond Arena. They played some games in Glendale over the past several years, but that's their brand new home for the Rattlers. Keon Williams back in the end zone to return for the Barnstormers. Dawson Evitz preparing to kick off. 5-10 left to play. Barnstormers two timeouts remaining. Rattlers with three. It's high in the air. Well kicked into the air, so it's a good hang time. And that enables the Barnstormers to only get out, and Williams only get out to the 10-yard line. That had a lot of hang time to it, and yeah, chance was good for the kick. defense to get under it. Definitely. It's hard to, to get some yards when those defenders are so far down there with a kick like that. So needing a couple of scores, the Barnstormers have to keep an eye on the clock with 5.05 remaining. It'd be nice to get one of those quick scores for us. As you just saw, Arizona just got one, a 46-yard run on first down. So on their first play from scrimmage after the Barnstormer touchdown. So now the Barnstormers try to strike quickly. Trey Long comes wide to the near side of the field. Wilson to the near side, Williams to the near side. And the running back is Washington. And now it's Williams going to the other side of the field. He's the target, and he can't hang on. And good coverage on the play from Jermaine Daubs, who's one of the best defenders in the IFL. He'll bring up second and 10 with now four and a half minutes left to play. You know, we mentioned Arizona off to their worst part since 2017, but they wound up winning their final 12 games in an IFL championship that year. Wow. So I guess what I'm saying is you can't be discouraged by a slow start. It's a long season. King this time completes to Williams. Williams tries to evade one tackler, able to stay on his feet and get maybe an extra yard up to the 19-yard line. And it'll be close to a first down. It looks like it's a little bit short, and it will be. It'll be a yard short and bring up a third down and one call. It looks like they came back to that play that they just tried. King got it out to him, got it out to him quick. 
let him make a play. Good catch by three. Williams, the leading receiver tonight for the Barnstormers. Don't miss the action. Make sure to come by here at Wells Fargo Arena. Maybe four, maybe with you. Third down in a yard, and now we're down to three and a half minutes left to play. The time becoming a factor for Iowa. King with pressure. Forced out of the pocket, delivers, the pass is incomplete. And the Barnstormers face a fourth and one call. Looks like we got maybe a late hit. Long was the intended receiver. The flag was thrown back on that far side of the field where King was throwing from. So let's see if the call is as Reddy Personal suggested. The Reddy, I think you got, you got him all Close. right so far. All your <laughs> calls the passes. On, on a on that, uh, penalty marker. Have been that one was correct. pretty obvious. And so the Barnstormers get a big break that time. Yeah, that was quite a bit after the play there. And that was Jemaya Pittman who came in and made the late hit. And he's a veteran, the guy who you'd think would know better. So the Barnstorm is now 16 yards away as they get a big break on the penalty. King, play action fake, will keep to the 10, to the 5, and he's tipped up at the 4-yard line. First and goal, Barnstormers. Running him down from behind, Isaiah Huff, and it's first and goal for Iowa. They've had a lot of success with this in the second half. I think this is what they scored uh, that last touchdown on, but good pull by him and, and a good run. And again, King showing that he can do a lot on the ground. He's had a good night rushing as well as throwing. First and goal from the five for Iowa. Two and a half left to play. King drops back, has time, and then has to throw it away. Everybody's covered. Good defense at the end zone that time by the Rattlers, forcing King to throw it away, to wisely throw it away. Yeah, don't want to make that that mistake here. And Much safer in that man's hands <laughs> as far as Barnstormer fans are concerned. Good catch by him. Yes, it was. Second and goal, Iowa. Two minutes left to play. I was never led in this game, tied up once, and that was at seven. They've been within two at 42 40, but have never had the lead. Again, it's a fake by King, drive to the end zone, and let's see what the ruling will be. Touchdown, Iowa. He's able to get across the goal line to score, and the Barnstormers pulled the within three on the touchdown run by Kyle King. They go back to that play they've had success with here, and great play by King, made a couple guys miss, and just, just barely got it over that line. His second rushing touchdown in the last two possessions for Iowa. Gabe Rui will try to make it a two-point ball game with a minute 14 left to play. Ball down, kick up, and Rui once again able to knock it through the uprights, and that stops the clock at a minute eight left to play. Arizona clinging to a 49 to 47 lead. They had a five play, 40 yard drive, and King with a five yard run for a second rushing touchdown. Let's get another look at the touchdown. Great play by King there, just, just finding the end zone. So we're down to a minute and eight. Of course, at the one minute mark, the clock will be stopped. So probably just enough time for a return. You wonder about the possibility of an onside kick, Brady? Could be. But still, again, time in the barn. So there's a couple yeah. of timeouts remaining. So percentages on onside kicks not being great. Yeah. But nevertheless, Arizona's not going to take any chances. Yeah, they're set up for it. 108 left to play. Barnstormers at home in their home opener down by two. Rui will kick it long. Boy, two-point deuce would have been great there, but no, not to happen. It's wide left, and so the ball will come out a long way for Arizona. They'll get it at the 25-yard line with a minute eight left to play. Oh, 
The Barnstormer quarterback Kyle King is thrown for 171 yards and rushed for 46 yards. Two touchdowns rushing and four throwing for the rookie quarterback. And for Arizona, Garrett Kettle has thrown for 140 yards, two touchdowns, and has run for one touchdown on a nine-yard game. So from the 25-yard line, the Barnstormer defense needs to come up with an answer here trying to hold off Arizona. Meanwhile, the Rattlers trying to break a three-game losing streak. Garrett Kettle takes the snap. It's a running play and a couple of yards gained on the play. And at this point, Arizona would like to use some time as well as get into the end zone. Yeah, definitely going to make, make a, a Barnstormers here take their timeouts, get rid of those, and, and try to milk the rest of the clock. Barnstormers going to use the timeout right here, which will leave them with one. That'll stop the clock three seconds prior to the one-minute warning. So the one-minute warning will act as yet another timeout. As you take a look at Iowa's new defensive coordinator this year, Anson Yarbrough, Donald Burrell has also joined the staff as Dave Bogus and two new assistant coaches this season. So the Barnstormers with one timeout left, Arizona with three timeouts remaining. And Arizona trying to get into the end zone one more time, which would make it a two-score game with less than a minute to play. And again, the one-minute warning coming up after this play. But this timeout taken by Mogesen ahead of the one-minute warning. Yeah, you can expect Arizona probably run the ball here again, but that's huge getting that, that timeout in between before the one-minute warning. Iowa coming back for their first home game after three straight on the road. Tough way to open the season. Second and seven, Rattlers. Running play, Brooks. Brooks has been tough and hard to stop this time. He's able to get a couple of yards down to the 21 yard line and that will bring us to the one minute warning. So one minute left to play. Arizona with the football. They lead Iowa by a pair, 49 to 47. Yeah, I'm picking up this girl, but I heard that her dad is a dick. It could take years to find the right one, but saving for her wedding starts now. FSB Savings. Say I do today. Seven seconds left to play. Arizona with the football and a 49 to 47 lead. Let's take a quick look at the scoreboard. The San Diego Bay Area game in the second quarter. That is the battle of two undefeated teams. Bay Area, of course, the defending champ. Massachusetts has suffered their first loss of the season as the Steam Reelers improved their record to two and two. Vegas, as we mentioned earlier, with a win over Jacksonville. Frisco, big win at Tulsa and Duke City and Northern Arizona in the tight one. Back to this one, the red football being used as this year IFL teams have an option of using their home colors for certain games. And here we go, third down and seven call for Arizona with 57 seconds left to play. Back to throw and then running the football. It's going to be close. Garrett Kettle, and he's going to be close to a first down needed to get to the 15 yard line. And I'm thinking he's pretty close to it right there. And it looked like he did get the first down as they move the sticks. So now we're down to 49 seconds and it's a time for a new series for Arizona. Good job by uh, Kittle there. Um, play broke down and he, he knew he needed about 10 yards and got it. 
Kettle has just been a really solid performer tonight. He's now rushed the football for 39 yards after that game. And he's thrown for 140 yards. Neither team has turned it over, and the Barnstormers will use their last timeout right here. It comes with 37 seconds left to play and a 49-47 Rattler lead. The ball 15 yards away from pay dirt for Arizona with a new series. So what are you thinking here? What has to happen for Iowa and what has to happen for Arizona? Unfortunately, I think um, I was going to need, you know, uh, barring a fumble or, or mis mishap on Arizona's part, um, going to need something big to happen for him here. Arizona just needs to take care of the ball, uh, get across the line of scrimmage, keep the clock running. Yeah, that's what they want to do, whether they get in the end zone or not, just keep the clock yep. running. Some encouraging things for the Barnstormers tonight, though, coming back from a 28-7 deficit. But if things don't turn around, I will be off to an 0-4 start, and the Rattlers will have broken a three-game losing streak. But still some time, and a quarterback kneeling this time. And the clock will stop at 35 seconds momentarily. Used to be you had to get positive yardage in this situation okay. for the clock to stop. And I'm not sure if that's the situation. No, it's not the situation. I think they changed that rule last year the year okay. before. So the clock is running. And so it that used to be sense. you had to get positive yardage. Okay. Not anymore. And so maybe time for just one more snap in Arizona. He's going to walk out of here with a hard-fought victory on the road at Iowa. Clock down to 10 seconds and down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There won't be another snap. And the Rattlers have escaped at Iowa with a 49-47 to victory. So Arizona breaks a three-game losing streak. Their record goes to 2-3 and three as their outstanding coach Kevin Guy shakes hands with some barnstormers. Back with the wrap-up in a moment following a tough one for Iowa tonight and a two-point loss to the Arizona Rattlers. Hello, I'm Tom Coach from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. For over 30 years, we've helped thousands of people solve their financial problems. So we got a little carried away. $44,000 in debt with a 25% annual interest rate. We could never pay that down. Consumer Credit of Des Moines lowered our monthly payment and lowered the interest rate to under 5%. And we improved our credit score. If they can help us, they can help you. Yes, we can. Call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Drake Relays Pole Vault returns to Jordan Creek Town Center for the first time in nearly a decade. Catch all the high-flying action on Monday, April 22nd at 6 p.m. right here on MC22. Welcome back to the Price Match game. Today we're playing for a new range from GE. Let's Price Match. Jack from House Station, what have you got? Well, I can do $9.99. What about you, Skippy from Bottoms? I can beat the House Station with $900. Kurt from Archer Home Center. Can you price match 900? I can price match that and we'll install it and service it as long as you own it. It looks like you win. And our audience at home wins too by Archer taking advantage of Archer Home Center's Center. price match guarantee. You're rolling, Larry Morgan with you at Wells Fargo Arena. Arizona never trailed in this one. They win at 49-47. Let's take a look at our play of the game because for the Barnstormers, it was a great catch by a guy who can relate to great catches over the board. And yeah, they got the game started off uh, really. Oh, this wasn't that one. No, this was the this was later on. Catch, that was yeah. a heck of a catch. Good ball by uh, by King, get, getting it out, letting his receiver make a make a play, and uh, he came down with it over the wall. And Randy Rowland, if anybody can relate to that play, it would be you. Those are the fun ones for sure. It was. Now our player of the game, and again, it's a rookie quarterback making his first start. 
and I thought Kyle King did a terrific job. Yeah, I think after the first series he struggled a little bit, but I think Coach gave him some some plays to get the ball out of his hands, to get some confidence, and he played a heck of a half that second half. He played really well. He winds up leading an offense that scores 47 points, just two points shy, but again, the rookie from Mary Harden Baylor acquits himself very well in his first start and had great help from Keon Williams tonight. Definitely. Um, I think that second half from King, um, it looks very promising for him as a quarterback in this league, but um, also the receivers made plays. That's a big thing, too. You know, third ball game in a row, the difficulty for the Barnstormers was putting themselves in that early hole. Yeah, yeah, they had field position in that second half. Um, they got out. Uh, early on in the possession and got some yards, didn't ever get kind of behind the sticks. So I think that if you're a Barnstormer fan, there are a lot of things that you have to be encouraged about tonight. Yeah, I would agree. The defense uh, ended up stepping up in the second half along with the offense. So I think if they put some things together and um, they get more experience, especially at the quarterback, I think I think they'll be okay. And the offensive line after really not allowing King a lot of time in the first half, shorted up some in the second half, did not allow a sack. They, yeah, they did a good job in that second half. He, he seemed to have a lot more time. He felt more comfortable back there, and that's huge as a quarterback for him. So the Barnstormers go on the road next week to Green Bay and then home for the next two, and a lot of reasons for optimism. Yeah, definitely. It would be nice to get in the win column, but um, I think they can take a lot of good things from this game. Well, it's fun having you up here tonight, Brady. It's a little easier than being down there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I would rather be down there. Yeah, but you're going to walk away feeling a lot better, I yes, guarantee you. Yes, it was fun. I, I appreciate you, you having did. me. Well, for yeah, it's sure. great having you. Tonight, tough one for the Barnstormers. Big win for the Rattlers on the road as they win it by a final score of 49-47. to 47. Coverage of Barnstormers indoor football at MC22 is a production of Mediacom in Des Moines. MC22 is your award-winning local sports programming leader.